You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. So as we last left off, the band was all standing around the body of the grill in the large gear room, having just defeated it. And as you're all standing around, Boy, it, you that see was it tough. flash, 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 and then explodes into coins. I just got men in blacked. <laughs> it explodes into 300 copper pieces, 200 silver pieces, and 100 gold pieces. Do you want me and to- one platinum piece. Wow. Oh, whoa. Liz, I assume you're on it. I got it. Scooping it. Okay. I've still got the spoils from the treasure room, so we'll split it all up later. Okay. I've got it all written down. I'm not sweating it. Yeah. I just looked to see if I had written anything down. VHS tapes. We found a stack of VHS yeah, tapes. Unlabeled. <laughs> yep. We don't have a I'm gonna turn over this piece of paper that says VHS tapes on <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting right in front of you, all moving over here, face down. <laughs> well, the the VHS did, tapes cause... only have one hit point, <laughs> but they're worth a lot. That's of experience. another story. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and something uh, during the, my re-listens because after I edit it, I re-listen to it the next day, so I know exactly where you were when we start off. I think since you sort of had your experience first, Kenny. I think what I gave you might be a little underpowered in proportion to everyone else. So Okay. So what I will give you whenever any time that you are using your soul shotgun, you have the sharpshooter feet. Okay. What does that mean? Sharpshooter is you can take a voluntary negative five to hit, but if you hit, you get a plus ten to damage. Damn. That's a ranged power attack. Yep. There may be more to it. I can't remember, but you can look it up right here. That'll combo nicely with fairy fire. Does um or your rage? I guess mm-hmm. I don't know if that. Well, the rage is I think only for is like it a melee melee attack. Well, pair well with fairy fire then. Do firearms work the same way they did in three point five, where it's a ranged touch attack? Nope. No such thing as a touch attack anymore. Oh, okay. Well, yep. I have to say because. If that, yeah, if that were the case, that would be God, holy fucking, shit. Fucking fucking gunslinger and pathfinder. <laughs> God. Yep. What you said there done that. Voluntary <laughs> negative five to hit, but if you if you do hit, you get a plus ten to damage. Plus ten to damage. Damn. But only you'll only have that with your soul shotgun. Gotcha. And I have to say that I'm doing that. Yep. When I do it. Okay. Right before you roll. Okay. <laughs> Power attack. There, there's, oh. there are some exceptions to that. Twenty. Uh sharpshooter. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we're just everyone want to go now. We're here. All right, we've got a lot up to, up to here to exp- We haven't done this or this, and then we've got various doors around the dungeon that we didn't weren't, weren't able to open. Okay, well, let's just start here and get this stuff that's close to us, and yeah. then let's go work ahead our way and, around. Yeah, let's do a full full up and down of this room. Yeah, now. for sure. Uh, well, you're the investigator. I will investigate or perceive exactly. Uh, do I get assistance? That's I a good got, roll. But I got. A, I rolled a twenty uh, for assistance. If you wanna, he rolled a twenty for assistance. So I'll give you a super sure. advantage. Roll the best out of three times. Okay. And it's not in the book, but it sounds good. I don't want to make a twenty <laughs> go to waste. The first roll of the night too. It still comes back Both to well. twenty one. Twenty one. All right. So you do. You're exploring everywhere because there are like. Balconies and those wrought iron staircases and everything up in this place. Uh, you see, it looks like some sort of magical workshop because there are books with runes, crystals, different kind of powders. It's all very old. And you go up to one black desk in one of the corners on the mezzanine, and in that you find. A very okay. You find the uh, the dragon zord, the Grell's dad, the Grell's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for initiative. Yeah, you find the flute dagger that summons the dragon zord. It glows slightly. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> All right. I have no idea what that is. You don't know what that is? It sounds like a trumpet if you play it. <laughs> well, only with a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> you pull that mask off the wall. What the, what the Green Ranger plays is some of the Dragon Zord. Okay, we're going to stop and watch all <laughs> 70 episodes of season one of Power Rangers. Like, I'm There's aware of Power Rangers. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Other than the, the, the I guess, villain is some weird lady in a big hat. Her name is Rita Repulsa. That's how she's gone. It's weird. She wasn't attractive when I was a child, but now she is. Now she is. <laughs> <laughs> now she can, it's now like, oh, look, look past her flaws. Right. Her. She kind of gets down. Not many flaws, honestly. Yeah. It's just easy to trick kids. Right. Well, it's like, this woman's ugly. Look at her weird clothes. Weird. Look at her <laughs> Madonna <laughs> ball. And... Right. So what does this dragon zord flute dagger do? You take a short rest and investigate it. Sure. Yeah, so everybody goes, yeah, I just want to specify that you're taking a short rest. And Well, there's also more things. We'll see what everybody wants to do. Okay. Uh, yeah. You find a, a potion with a, a very a light blue liquid in it. And liquid you, denim. Liquid denim. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> you find a bag of Jack Link's jerky. Uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty nice. Yeah. For you, maybe. <clears throat> Definitely. Split it with you. Uh, can we do that? <laughs> can we split food? How does that work? Yeah, you'd heal half the effect. Okay. Each. I don't care to. I don't care to just have one of us have it if, oh. if you don't want it to be. I potent. need to eat. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, take your take the jerky. That's so a black and a black pouch containing eighty copper and thirty two silver. I'll put that with the with the hoard. So that if you want to take a tin and try to identify the potions and the dagger, you said eighty copper and thirty silver. 32 silver. 32 silver. I'm going to eat, so... Yeah, he's got to eat, so we're going to have to take the 10 anyway, so I'll... So roll a D8 plus 5. D8. I'll take the potion and, and investigate it to figure out what it is. Okay. I got, last time, a it's barrette 11. that functions as a hat of disguise, mm -hmm. and I was reading about it. I need to... Uh, to do a tunic. Tune so you would take your short rest okay. to a tunic. Correct. And I'll check out the dagger. So, yeah, okay. So the, po the potion you identify as a potion of, of invisibility... You attune yourself to your barrette, so now you can use disguise self at will. Okay. And then the dagger is the Dragon Zord Dagger of Poisoning. It can hold three applications of poison, and you can basically press one of the flute buttons to coat the weapon in poison as a bonus action. I th is there? Think that's probably going to be a little more up your alley, right? I'll take it. Yeah. And it has that's... one application inside it right now. Um, okay, that, that's yours then. Right. Does it by nature diminish the chances of poisoning yourself? No, because once it's once you press it, you could still cut yourself or whatever attacking with it. Well, like to load it. I mean, like when I there was a chance I would poison myself when putting the spider venom on my symbol. Can you basically? I would say you only risk poisoning yourself if you're crafting a poison or whenever you're attacking with a poison. Yeah, you could you could. In, you could load it without uh, risk of poison. Well, we should probably, as we head our way back, stop by one of the spider rooms and load it with, because it can take two more applications. Yep, we'll have to anyway. Yeah, we're gonna. Okay. That'd be a good idea. Back, just if we're to, gonna backtrack. We're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna go by yeah. there anyway. It just seems smart to go ahead and. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we finished in this room? I think we have cleaned it out. Yeah, I think so. This little um, octagonal room down here in the lower right, what's the door on that guy? It looks like on this one right here. Yes, that is a Lawrence door. Check out the Lawrence door before we go down the hallway. Yes. Let's open that door. Ready in, ready in action for just in case there's anything on the other side to attack, if I'm being clear. Yeah, you slide the key in and open that door. <laughs> It looks like it is a very dusty classroom full of the old style desks that have the attached and armrest to to metal. Looks like there are ten desks in here in here with a chalkboard with chalk on it, easel, typical classroom anything, things, a teacher's desk. Is there anything written on the chalkboard? Magic school. No, nothing written on the chalkboard. Uh, you do immediately see a pig hole in this room. I'm assuming it's here. Okay. Um, want to go ahead and search it? Thoroughly. All right. I assisted. I did not. 13. 13. Anybody else? I'll go. I'll, I'll, that's what I'm independently. I was willing to assist. I'll independently investigate. 
uh, ten. I will investigate. These two look like they're not doing yeah. a very good job. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, not really. Eight. <laughs> These fools. <laughs> All right, Liam. <laughs> he assisted. I assisted. Yeah, yeah. You don't find anything else in the room, just the big hole. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're all very tired and distracted. <laughs> all right. Do we want to take the pig hole or go back out through the, the... Where does... Do we know which direction the pig hole connects to? Do, based on the map, does it look like it connects to something that we already know? No. Right now, it's on the bottom of this room we, in an area that we haven't... I say we go that way. Let's go. Pig Into hole. the pig hole. Pig hole time. Fly boy. Get the mayonnaise ready. Ten feet before it Always. turns left. If you keep going straight, you're back into another room. If you go right, you're still in a pig hole. You want to pop into that room and just see where it is? Like, if we, Can we see tell where it connects? On our map Let's pop where in we there. think we're going to go. You don't have to twist my arm. Sure. <laughs> if we could go straight, we come out here, which is at the end of this hallway anyway. You want to go, Since we're going to go to that room anyway, do you want to just take the hallway? Sure. That way we can check those little alcoves or whatever on so our way. You're saying go into the big room and then work our way back towards... I mean, I, the only unknown at this point is where the other right. where the branch off of this tunnel goes. So let's go ahead and check that out, right? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Check the branch off? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it goes right 10 feet. A uh, room that oh. wasn't and on the map? Straight into a room that's not on the map. Okay, oh. gotcha. Okay. Okay, well, let's go check out. So it went through, like, did it come out into the hallway with no. those alcoves, or did it... No. It went under I just, that, I, or... Drew it wrong. Oh, 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 it's a room that's like essentially below oh, where okay. the alcoves are. Okay, so that's a room we have we didn't have on our map. Okay, well that's neat. Is there like a? I mean, does it just open up into a room? Well, I mean, it's a pig hole, right. so I don't think there's a door. Yeah, but I'm like we saw a barricade earlier. You know? Oh what I yeah, mean? yeah. There's no barricade there, is there? Because you're going you're going into the regular hallway. No, we're, no, we're, we're going, going into, into the, the secret, secret room. room. Yeah. Okay. Because you see, it opens up and it has a regular floor like the rest of Jazzed Rune does, but it's full of mist or just a heavy, really a very dense fog. You can't really even see what's in it for the fog. So we can't tell if there's other exits or anything. Mm-hmm. Not without getting in it. Um, Any strange odors or anything like that? I mean, <clears throat> make a perception. Nine. No, not for me. Twenty. Yeah, because you're smelling. You don't smell. It doesn't smell damp like fog normally would. Uh, but you do smell. It smells earthy in there. The other, only other room you smelt that was the closest one that you smelled was the uh, the bathroom, the ba- the bathing with the false, the fake water and the spiders in the top. The room smelled a little similar to that. I will share that information with the group. Illusionary mist, maybe. Yeah, so far almost all the elements in this have been illusions. Yeah. But do illusions typically smell? Well, it may not uh, be the illusion we're I mean, smelling. That's why I give that's my point. Like, sure. Generally. The only other thing in that room other than the illusion spiders. For spiders. <laughs> <laughs> so if that's what we're to believe is in there. Hey, we got a <laughs> we got a little flute we need to fill with poison. Yep. <laughs> and Necks that need to be bitten into. <laughs> <laughs> is it poison? Does anybody know? Like, is this poisonous mist? Or are we breathing it right now? Or uh, feeling anything from breathing? The How far mist? away are you from it? I mean, we're standing at right. the door. Right, the right in the, at the pig hole. Entrance. Everybody feels fine right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good answer. <laughs> right now, you feel great. Y'all want to go in here and see what's up? Um, would anybody have a problem with me going back and getting one of the dead goblins and just tossing the body in there to see what happens? No, I don't it's have fine. a problem with that. And where would you find one of those? That's true. They explode into coins. Point. Oh, yeah. I have a roll of duct tape that I found along the way. I'm just going to roll that duct tape oh, into the room. Oh, you know what? Okay. And then maybe your Paula Deen pot. The, <laughs> the, the goblin that we cut out of the spider web did not turn into coins. Oh, you're right. The desiccated goblin. Yeah. So I'll go back and get him. That's like okay. up here. Fine, you win that round, Sean Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a second, but it's not going to actually take a second. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Tyler wants to turn on random battles. Between no, we're, gonna, <laughs> no, we're just going to wait in real time <laughs> yeah. how long I think it would take you to get there and get back. <laughs> but Truncate Silence is going to take care of all that. So 
Uh, yeah, you can get it and make it back while everyone is standing there. Okay. You roll. Will you go ahead and roll? I'm that gonna duct roll tape my duct tape across the room just to see what. It is. Make a perception check. <laughs> uh, that would be an eleven, and it's gone. Okay. <laughs> just rolls off into the. <laughs> just mist. rolls off into the. I like, I like the idea that I'm walking back with this, you know, thing. St- thrown over my shoulder and I just hear <laughs> screams coming from down the hallway like, <laughs> like, ah, like uh, well I wish I'd have been hope there. that's not my friends <laughs> yeah. uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to when we get back try to get the webbing off of him so he look so the goblin looks as normal as possible yeah and try to just Set, stand him upright and push him in as if he's yeah. just a goblin walking into the room. <laughs> weekend at Bernie's, this goblin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hold him up and... <laughs> I'm hoping if there's anything in there, it's not smart enough to know that it's dead. Hey, look at me. I'm just a it's the goblin. <laughs> yeah. make, uh, make a perception check. I'm afraid of that right How now. far are you trying to throw it? As far as I can, and I'm pretty fucking strong. Okay. <laughs> so... Perception roll to twenty. The, yeah, it's uh, leaking. It's dripping on. Dave oh. just pointed out something concerning and strange. That is, uh, you have a roof leak, my friend. Yeah, and it's splashing me in the coal. <laughs> I felt some <laughs> pause for a second. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're back. A bucket has been placed. (laughs) Sprung a leak. Help me fix my leaky (laughs) recording room roof. (laughs) Patreon.com slash (laughs) deadbomb. Dig Dug, you bought that. Thank you, Dig Dug, for for paying for my sound. (laughs) Yeah, 20 on the perception. So you chuck it in as far as you can and you hear it hit. It doesn't really splat because it's not full of anything, but you hear it skitter to the on the floor, and then you hear lots of Oh, yeah. Pitter patter? Something with lots and lots of legs. You hear Centipedes. crawling and scuttering around. Yeah, there's spiders or something in there for sure. He said lots of legs. Well, we're, I dealing, mean, we're dealing with centipedes here, I bet. You heard two two distinct sets. sets. Oh, well. And you hear kind of. How about, can you, can sounds like this? scissors cutting paper. We don't know how deep the room is because of the mist, but can we tell how wide the room is? That would also be... You, you can, really can't see more than five feet into the room. Okay. Well, we I can I can tell basically where I threw the You know, body. you threw it more than five feet. Yeah. But well, here's my point. If I'm thinking that I threw something in there, now something is trying to eat it. Yes. But I've got a pretty good lock on where I threw it in relation to where I'm standing. Mm-hmm. So I... Does... If we're assuming something's trying to eat that thing, does any, do we want to take ranged attacks and just take a disadvantage? I'm assuming that's how that would work and try to hit whatever is eating it. Or maybe it's a friend and we just don't know it, but something tells me no. <laughs> are, are, is anybody interested in yeah, doing that? If anybody that? wants yeah, to aim in that great. proximity, you could uh, make an attack with disadvantage. Uh, <laughs> that say might as well. I'm like low on spells. Otherwise, I'd fairy fire it, but then I'd be like, well, I'm done yeah. with spells yeah. and we're not out of here yet. So right. I want to save it for something. Roll two nineteen, two twenties. <laughs> All right, uh, twelve. Your symbol hits something. Your shotgun hits something. Seventeen with my hit. bow. Hit. Fourteen with an e blast. Hit. Yeah, you know exactly where they. I mean, he threw it right in front of him at that distance. So all of you fire in. Each of you hit. So go ahead and roll for damage. I'm also going to go ahead and. As a bonus action, cast that spell we were talking about. The okay. Hail of Thorns, which I think does an extra D8 okay. to whatever it hits, plus whatever's standing in five feet. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming, I'm hoping that whatever two things we think that are in yeah. there will be within five feet. If so, tell me. and then, Or you just know it takes Twelve. the eight. Twelve. <laughs> so is the creature surprised? Yes. So then that's, that's a critical. That's critical, yes. So that means... So you double your your old yes. what two d eight? Yep. Uh, six for the bow. Oh yes. Okay, you're right. You also get sneak attack. Fifteen. No. Yeah, you get sneak attack. Fifteen points of damage to one, and then five if the other one takes the damage. Yep. Twenty. <laughs> yeah, that's what you got. Thirteen. Yeah, you, you guys. <laughs> Grell Delta blast into the room again, <laughs> and just. You, <laughs> You hear several, a few things scream in the room, and 
then it's silent. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go in there? You want to f- <laughs> see if we can fish up another you, goblin? <laughs> you, wonder, you wonder if it worked until you see 50 XP above, appear above all your heads. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> good work, team. <laughs> it's a good idea. Are we okay going in there now? Do we hear like coins sure. hit the ground? Yes. Yeah, I think we're probably good. <clears throat> We'll go in, and I'm going to start <coughs> working my way around the walls, looking specifically for any kind of runes matching what we saw in the other places where there were illusions. Okay, yeah, you walk around the room. Go ahead and make an investigation. Not too much. I might need assistance. I assist. That helps. 18. 19. 18. <coughs> and yeah, as you're working around, you guys realize you're, what did you, you're also searching? I assisted. Assisted, okay. So as you guys all kind of work together, working around the room, you see, because you have to get very close, but you're in some sort of a small library. And eventually as you're searching, you find one of the library panels, like the the bookshelves, is a false wall. And then you also find one of the books. You find a room that's glowing just just faintly over in the corner. I'll take a look at that. Does Scratch it. In. Does detect magic... Make a dis- <laughs> disabled device. Make a sure. thieves tool. Sure. Can I borrow those? <laughs> if never. you want. Or, or you can just deal damage to it. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. How are you, <laughs> how, you just physically scratching it? Yeah. Yeah, you just really tear at it for a while, and then eventually... I mean, I'm like a, using like a key or something. Yeah, eventually you hear a... Like air is being lit out of a tire. And the uh, miss fades away. There we go. Oh, that's good. One less rune. Ten to experience deal with. points, everybody. <laughs> How many? Ten more. There, was, there was no real risk of it setting off a trap or anything. Yeah, so no negative to destroying it. I just assumed it was generating the mist. <laughs> I mean, that could have gone horribly wrong, but it would have been entertaining. I, I was in there thinking it was like a tome that would increase a stat or something. I'm like, oh. Dave, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> I want to check. Oh, out I don't the, want these oh, stats. <laughs> Magical okay, books yeah, are usually you're looking good. at it until <laughs> eventually you find I a book that's wall. not really a book that looks like it's more inset and not just sitting on the shelf. Okay, and you can pull it. I'll and pull it. You hear it unlatch. You can pull it out. Okay, it goes into a ten foot room, ten by ten. Uh, inside, it looks like. A poster of Hanson on the wall that looks old and faded. The Spice Girls, Nirvana. You see, it looks like there are like socks, underwear, and band T-shirts on the ground. Like, the look on Nicole's face was that I think the look in all our minds, like Hanson and Spice Girls and Nirvana, and I don't know Eiffel 65. <laughs> like, what what yeah, that'll right? work. <laughs> One of these silver things chair. Is, <laughs> oh, no. One of these things is not like the others. <clears throat> yeah, but it all looks like it. I mean, it the clothes are girls' clothes and men's clothes and just kind of a weird assemblage. Uh, but one thing that stands out in the corner is a tiny TV VHS combo. Hey, we can watch this Yay. VHS thing. Nice. It looks like it's sitting, sitting on a very small uh, desk. Looks like it has a uh, Super Nintendo on the bottom of it with cords Dips reaching out. on that. <laughs> they got any good games? Just a wing commander. <laughs> Why? And, and race driving. Why were they torturing <laughs> these boys and men and girls and women in here? And Nirvana and Spice Girl. <laughs> boys and <two> men. <laughs> boys and <laughs> <to> men. <laughs> um, I'm going to watch some Bone videos. Thugs. Yeah, let's watch how one many, Bone How many videos. VHS tapes do we have? Five. Okay, and they were short and length, we decided. Yeah. Okay. Probably some mind... I was going to say, I hope they're not cursed. Mind, mind freak. Project Mindful uh, Orientation videos. They're not. <laughs> this, Welcome to the, this, Project Mindful. This is the Dharma Initiative. Yeah, mm. exactly. Yeah. Ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, Polar bear. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Just got the inner numbers for the rest of the sessions. <laughs> yeah. Hold on to a stay bit. in this room <laughs> every five rounds, inner <laughs> set of numbers. <laughs> Somebody go get Clancy Brown. We're going to make up for this. Um, the, and all the all five of the tapes are completely devoid of markings, right? Correct. We just randomly pick one. Yeah, just randomly yeah. pick one and shove it in. Yeah, you, know, you took TV turns on. You put in the VHS tape. See, it's pretty short. Yeah, 
hit play, and it cuts to a first-person perspective of a kid looking at Tetris on a Game Boy. And you can barely see over it is a man. Looks like he has long, sort of comb back brown hair. Uh, he's got a, a nice white, crisp white shirt on, suspenders, uh, and a tie. He looks a little like um, Michael Landis. Is he wearing a name tag by any chance? No, but you recognize your dad. Oh. <laughs> His name tag says dad. Okay. <laughs> your, your dad. Your dad? <laughs> Wait, hey, is that that's my, not dad? my dad? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. It's your dad. <laughs> then 20 minutes later after who's on first. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's tall and he's he's very built and muscular. Can I get a rough like okay, do I I remember my dad looking like that? Is this like is it how old was I when he looked like that? Kind of a ten. Okay, so this has been this has been a minute. Yeah, and because you remember, like, oh, that's my Game Boy. Yeah, so that looks like that's me. Like, how is this a recording of me? And then you see someone knock on his office door and just come in, and like you see you your percent of you're playing the Game Boy, and you look over for a second, and it's a man who. Uh, Looks like he's wearing a, a jacket that has like a, you see where it's torn under the arm. It's like an old brown corduroy jacket, and he's got um, some very faded jeans on, some shoes that are falling apart. Looks like he hasn't shaven in a while. Like, oh, man, Mr. Barnes. Like, oh, oh, Saul, come in, come in, come in. What can I do for you? I was just, I know I don't, I don't really have anything left left in that fund, but I, I really need to pay. Uh, my electric bill and get some some money for my my family. Do you, are there anything? Is there anything else we can we could tap or or do while I look for work? He just, he just no no saw saw saw. He looks like he goes out from around his desk and he reaches in and he has a wad of cash and he looks like he peels off a few bills and hands it to him. And don't you worry about that. You go and you get some groceries. You get those lights back on. And uh, just take care of your family. Like, don't don't worry about that. We'll we'll find some money somewhere else. Just go ahead and get that taken care of right now. So, Mr. Barnes, I can't take that. Well, how about how about I'll tell you what, I could use um, someone to repair my roof. Some <laughs> <laughs> some chow chow whenever your garden comes in. And he goes, okay, I, I could do that. I could do that, Mr. Barnes. It's like sure he hands him the money, claps on the back, and he shakes his hand and he walks out, and you just go back to. Playing, playing your Game Boy, and the uh, tape ends like, and it's blue for a beat, and then porn comes on. <laughs> Is it good? Just porn. Uh, it looks fairly good. <laughs> yeah, just kind of gauge the room. I did. We gonna watch this? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody can make a. Uh, you can make a wisdom check. Uh, Ten. Eighteen. Fourteen. We all fail. It's you like 20 know. hours later. <laughs> Kitty, you're like, oh. Sylvia Saint. Nice. <laughs> nice. I was going to go for Jenna Jameson, the low-hanging fruit, but you're going into a deep track there. Okay. <laughs> and then the tape shuts off. Mm. Uh-huh. Do you have a camera in your brain? First time hearing that. <laughs> I know you have porn in your brain. That part makes <laughs> well, sense. But it's nothing new, but I mean, I do... Does the I mean I'm assuming based on where we are this is just a memory that I've had that yep that I I've think you got mind freaked is what but I think do I now that I've seen that do I remember anything else about that person like you just remember somebody who used to be a, a union carpenter and had a, had a big trust lost his job lost a position in the union and just had trouble with their finances from then on yeah well I mean I'll just relay that I mean. Uh, Lim probably knows this, but yeah, that's my dad. And seems like a nice guy. Yeah, generous. Yeah. He he is very nice. He's he always has been. It's a little bit. Sometimes he's too nice, but yeah, I mean he he's always done that, and, and he's always taken care of people. And it's uh, it's just in his nature. But I I don't know. I don't know what that has to. Well, maybe, I, I don't know what that means to us here. Maybe I mean, we'll have more on yeah. the tapes that will yeah. make help it help it along when we'll watch another tape. Yeah, go ahead and throw another one in.
Cut to you again with you're sitting outside his office with your Game Boy again. This time playing uh, Link's Awakening. So it's, it's a it's a Game Boy Color. You're playing the DX version, and you're sitting outside his office door, which is closed, and you can hear a girl inside. She's going in between fits of sobbing and angry screaming. I thought we turned the porn off. <laughs> <laughs> About how she she wants her money. She needs it now. She has bills. <laughs> and, Call JG Wentworth. <laughs> <laughs> and you can hear your dad taking a very calm, even tone with her, uh, saying that he's the guardian of her trust, that her parents left him in charge, and that he knows what she's doing with the money. And... He won't give her money for anything but going to rehab. And you hear them, the girl screaming it and losing it. You hear something crash in the room at one point. And you still hear him having a calm, even, firm tone talking her down until she agrees to go to rehab. And that's right when you plant the bomb on the level six boss, the the face floor, and it explodes. And then the tape cuts to another perspective of somebody else and looks like they're in Jazzed Rune. And they're they're walking around. They're they're running. Wait, wait, we don't even know what's in here. And you hear someone else, it'll be fine. This is everything else has been fun in subspace. Come on. Do the voices sound familiar at all? Not at all. Okay. But do you tell we, that was do a, we see a, where they a are. feminine voice. Do we recognize in the dungeon the room that they're at? You, Yeah, you can recognize that they're coming up the steps that came into that pedestal room. Mm. It sounds like she's around the corner. She's like, I still don't know. It For some reason, you know, neither one of us, we can't get any further in our subspace from here. So let's, let's, I'm a little scared. Let's, let's find out what's going on. We'll just use that wand again then. We'll find another door. He pulls out that wand. Don't do it. And then you see where he uses it, a big blue pulse goes off and then you see he groans and you see sort of a red sleeve appear on his arm and the memory cuts. <laughs> oh. Oof. Yeah, look at that wand to sleep. <laughs> Man, I hope this one's good. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, do I... That, that was a little more recent and I probably have a little more memories of seeing him dealing with her. And- yep. Paducah has a lot of old money, yeah. and your dad was entrusted by a lot of older people to manage a lot of money for the reckless youths around town. Yeah. I mean, this, those kind of stories are pretty typical of him, and I've always been a little bit resentful of it, but frankly, after seeing your family and how... Yeah, you're really they, lucky. They, this heck is... with you, I'm, I'm starting, to, starting to wonder what I was so pissed about, but... But whatever. Uh, let's watch the third one. You pop the tape in. And it's not as old as the one where you're playing Link's Awakening Deluxe. Not as old as the Tetris one. Somewhere in the middle. And it's your perspective at uh, an archery range. Somewhere like at 4-H camp. Well, your dad also works as like a, he'll do a counselor ship sometimes and, and teach. And it's just you and him at the archery range. And you see he's showing you how to shoot and you're, of course, you're very good at it. And he sees, you know, Benji, I see, I see how much, one, you look up to your older brother. Uh, but I also see how much you care about people and you care about him and you care about everyone around you Uh, and it's I just want to let you know that that has always been sort of a trait of our family like your great 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 grandfather back before we were all Benji's kind of set that forth and that's just been like our family's I don't want to say it's our plight because I think it's a good thing but that's been our family's destiny almost and I don't I don't see that in your brother as much as I see in you. And I just, I'm excited to share that with you. And I hope, I mean, you definitely got your, from what I've heard, your great-great-grandfather's ability with a bow and with throwing anything. But it's just, I think it's important that 
you do like I did and kind of embrace that. But I, but I know it's kind of a strange thing to think about living your life for other people when there's so much you might want to do. But you're getting older now, and I feel like that's just something you might want to consider. And then, like, you hear yourself go, <sighs> and then just fire off another arrow. And that's when the tape cuts and then picks back up to a non-dusty version of that room with four large beds. And you see someone looks like they have a almost like a camcorder moving it around. And it goes to a man who looks like he has a lab coat on. And he's straightening his tie in a mirror in front of that bed. He turns over and looks. Save the tape for the interviews. We need to document everything we see here so we can find out what this is and what we're going to do with it. You're fine, fine, fine. And the tape shuts off. Did did that guy have a name tag on? It did say the guy who said stop had a director Max name tag on. Which is the name tag we found earlier. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I mean, again, you know, I guess we ought to get used to all our personal shit being laid out for everybody to see, but this is that was sort of a typical you know, every once in a while dad would have that talk with me about how our family is supposed to be, you know, help others, you know, sort of philanthropic, and it's always just been kind of a bore to me, and it's been frustrating. But, but I, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's starting to get less and less irritating seeing how much shittier other people can have it. Hmm. I mean, you, you had to kill a guy, so... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, your personal stuff seems a lot more positive than mine. <laughs> right. Yeah, how right. embarrassed you must be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Throws the other pair of Jordans over his shoulder. <laughs> I'm trying to carry on these extra Jordans. Yeah. Well, and, and your brother's trying to kill us, so... <laughs> yeah. And, you know, Kenny had a bear that tried to kill us. Yeah. My family is the only one that has no killing in its background, the he best al- I can he tell. He also lived in an abandoned school when you first met. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but but I say that. We still got two tapes left, so maybe there's something I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's, it's a dark turn. I, yeah, I we need wanna... more porn, please. I mean, I'm hoping so, too. But yeah, <laughs> Let's get to the fourth tape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see a purple tentacle comes out of the side of the room. Do, do you really? That, <laughs> that kind? Do Back you, off. You really want to see more porn? <laughs> I'm down. You put in the fourth tape. And it cuts to something much more recent. As you look over... First person perspective of you looking over a drum set at KC's and you are just playing your heart out and there are so many people there screaming and yelling and enjoying it and dancing and you're playing playing the set of your life. Like the happiest moment. I'm probably, looking but, for myself yeah. in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in the back you see this one kid sort of way back way back in the back sort of yeah. in a corner like looking at this girl over on the side that has pink hair who's also <laughs> yeah you definitely recognize Lim on one quarter Jill on the other with um, with her boyfriend before Scott a guy named Hunter and he's still in his wearing his football jersey because they have since broken um, you're, you're playing and looking over at your brother playing guitar and he is smiling at you he looks happy you're playing, but you see in the way back toward the door, you see a tall, lanky, blonde guy just with a scowl on his face. Does he look like a pedophile? Yes. <laughs> Does he look like the posters oh, I've, I've been seen this guy. All over? If everybody recognizes, oh, that's the pedophile. <laughs> you see, once you finish your uh, your set, then your brother says, okay, well then let's let's leave it up to the crowd then. Luke or Benji? And when he raises Benji, the crowd just goes nuts. And you see Luke just raises up two middle fingers, <laughs> points points to you and just flips you off and then just walks, kicks the door open and walks out. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm learning a lesson from that video. That guy's just a piece of shit. <laughs> and that one just cuts off. Fuck him. Yeah, that's that's the pedophile. The pedophile oh, yeah. that, that apparently left a note in my in my apartment, which... Or, you know, bedroom. Okay. 
All right, well, let's check out the fifth one. One more to go. This one, again, you can see you have your clear purple Game Boy in your hand, but you have it lowered. You can't actually see what game you're playing because your dad's his office door has frosted glass, and but there's a half inch where there's clear glass. So you're trying to look through, and you see your dad in an argument with somebody, which is very rare. So you can see almost side profile where he's taller. He's taller. He's more straight. His shoulders are bigger. He's an overall bigger person uh, than who he's talking to, who is. You recognize his. He's got a very red, nice red, red jacket, jacket. And mm-hmm. you recognize Balthazar from all the keys. Yeah. And he reaches over to his desk and he pulls out a check and he pins it to his chest. There's all your money from all your companies and all your investments. I am done. I will not do the things you want me to do. I will not endorse your business practices. Barnes and Barnes is done with all of your shit. Get out. I never want to see you again. I will never mess with you again. Your business is dirty. So help me God, I will stop you from what you were doing to this city. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm just nodding like vigorously as I'm watching it. <laughs> yeah. Seeing Balthazar laughs. <laughs> I have taken down bigger people than you, and you're wrong to cross me. I will destroy you just like I have destroyed everyone else, and trust me, I know how to do it, and I will have your ass. And you see he walks and opens the door, and you kind of skitter out of the way, and he walks out of, out of the office. And then that clips to very much like Dharma Initiative, where you see Director Max standing in front of with his lab coat. So you are welcome here at Project Mindful. We have all stumbled upon this building, and because we can unite here, we can better understand the power that we have. We, we have yet to understand what this place is that can unite us, that seems to be a common nexus for all of us. But now that we're here, we can discuss, we can learn and master this power that we have. So now, on your first day here with us, and then the tape cuts off. Hmm. Hmm. How, um, when was that, that meeting between your dad and my dad? I mean, between the purple Game Boy and... Also, I didn't know you played Game Boy. That's really cool. I played Game Boy, too. (laughs) Of course. Yeah. I mean, not as much as I used to, but yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, me neither. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Ten years ago, maybe? Yeah. It was ten years ago, and... You know, he, I knew that at one point he had dealings with your family, but I didn't think it had, it's not been for a while. And I never, you know, now I remember that. I don't remember thinking it all that odd until now. Yeah. But I also, now that I know more about your family, I, I, it, it's not surprising that your family is one of the only ones of the old, you know, money in Paducah that they're not dealing with yeah. because my father and mother and the rest of my family, even though my brother's kind of a dick sometimes, they are pretty. Pretty straight laced, pretty good natured, pretty, you know, they're good people. They're Irvin Cobb kind of folks. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done with my research on Irvin Cobb. <laughs> we still, no, still, I need you to make a commitment, yes or no, right, right now. Still, <laughs> still some unknowns out there, but, uh, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I've, I'm glad I'm along for this ride, but, uh, you know, seeing that makes it a lot more real to me. Mm what your family is doing. I mean, I already didn't like them just because your brother's putting us through all this shit, but, and yeah. your dad seems, you know, pretty awful. He's worse. I mean, yeah. he's worse than my bro- half, half mean, brother. Half brother. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, not I, that it matters. A whole and lot. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it's because they're realtors. Let's get that, you know, out of the way. <laughs> no, it's no. Not because if, they're realtors. If I've learned anything in this dungeon, it's that I've, I maybe should be more tolerant of realtors and not that they're not all evil. Yeah, but the ones that I know certainly are. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, st- I'm starting to think I need to take my talent to another agency if I'm going to stick with this career path. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, we had before we left, I got approached, you know, by my dad, and he he asked me about you guys, and I mentioned you, Lem. And, yeah, you know, he tried to warn me off of you because yeah. of. But, you know, I kind of said, I don't think he's like them. So, But seeing this tape of your dad in action, my dad was, for whatever reason, 
is very familiar with the way your dad does business and that's you know not good i mean it's good and it's not good he he, he knew it, enough to say you need to be he warned me you know be very careful yeah so that's good advice uh, yeah <laughs> yeah it's good advice but yeah i mean i feel better about about what we have to do as as far as getting out of here and how it may affect your family. And I don't know what exactly they've got going on, but it's something we're going to have to keep an eye out for. I don't know either. I haven't uh, drank the Kool-Aid. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm like, I don't know what, I don't know what they're doing. Well, I've always, I've always held it to my family to a fault, how compassionate they are to the point that I felt like at times they were getting stepped on. But it's clear after watching that tape that my father does not get pushed around. So... That's cool. I don't know. Maybe I should, maybe I should be more aware of that as I, as through our travels. You know, being mm-hmm. being nice doesn't necessarily mean being a pushover. Yeah. All right. Hey, any more? As, any more tapes? I mean, that's all the tapes. Just do I see the camcorder anywhere in this room? No. Any drop tile ceiling like actually going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Have we actively investigated this room yet? No. Maybe you can find a better video game than Wing Commander for the SNES in here. <laughs> Was there anything else I noticed about in the Balthazar tape that that caught my eye? I mean, other than just the argument itself. Balthazar's confidence <clears throat> was almost unnerving. That's where I get it from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead and make a, make, everybody make a perception. Eight, natural 20. 18. Uh, I also rolled a natural 20. Six. <laughs> 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 Your natural twenty is better than my natural twenty. I guarantee it. Uh, you, the two of you outside the room, you hear footsteps. Footsteps, they, very, Someone's very coming. light, as if they're trying to conceal their presence. Sneaky footsteps. steps, tippy toes. Um, and as to not feel like d twenties are wasted, I'll give each of you red chips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> thanks. We heard footsteps. We heard footsteps. Um, uh, it sounds like they're coming down the hallway or just right outside this room in the library. Oh, well, they came out from somewhere you don't know where, and they're in the library now. They stopped the, the library being, oh, right, okay. Uh, well, what were you gonna say? My because my instinct is to like look out there, and you know what I mean? Like, that's probably <laughs> what I'm going to Can like, I like sneakily look out there? I have yeah, a make a, I, make a I stealth have a potion of invisibility. Let me try and sneakily look out the door. 13. Yeah, because you peek your head out and you see someone standing out there who is very, very, very handsome with long blonde hair. Long and then they have a knot going down the middle. They're in clothes that you would recognize from like the Newsies. It's um, Christian Bale. Like a white, a white, <laughs> <laughs> a white linen shirt with a... Uh, like a, a brown vest and brown pants, and it looks like soft leather shoes with a bow tied around their back. It looks like they're holding some kind of like, looks like a scroll almost. And you, yeah, you very sneakily look around, and he smiles and waves at you. I will <laughs> smile and wave back because I am a teenage girl, and he's very handsome. What do you <laughs> looks what like, do you see? What he do you looks like. He looks. Nothing. Stay there. I don't think. I'm not. By, by 2000. <laughs> I'm looking. <laughs> When did Lord of the Rings come out? 2000? 99? Uh, I don't know. I can ask Siri if you want. really want to know. He looks like Orlando Bloom. You're tapping into all my teenage girl <laughs> fantasies. <laughs> he, yeah, he almost... He looks like Legolas. I am probably at a just loss in, for Just words. in not Middle Earth clothes, more like very <laughs> old-fashioned American clothes. I will smile... What do, you, what do you see Awkwardly. out there? Nothing. Yeah, I'm, lo- I'm looking. Like, my, like She's looking out there, and I'm like, my head's just, like, just above her <laughs> looking. Yeah, it looks like he waves to you as well. Hey, man. Who are you? I'm Lim, but who are you? He, he just smiles, and he holds out a scroll. Are you going to are you gonna take it, or you want me to take yeah, it? Yeah, I'll take it. I figured you might want to take it. I will walk over and take it. I've never yeah. seen her like this before, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> the scroll just says uh, No, you're very... You're he just very, does an oh, pshaw. You're, oh, very, motion. you're very good looking. And he bows slightly. Yeah, he, he hands it to you, and you see uh, emblazoned on it is uh, for Benji. No. 
<laughs> I guess I'll take it and give it to Benji. I, I, I haven't even looked out yet. I guess I'm staying on it. <laughs> Guys, there's a real handsome dude out here. It's Liz a- is like obviously <laughs> into him. Gosh. <laughs> well, it's obvious. He knows. <laughs> So he, I will give you the scroll. Okay. <laughs> I look it over carefully for any, I don't know, runes or something. What? Yeah, no, no runes or anything on the outside of it. Is this about the talk I had with Link yesterday? Are you looking outside or just, just, pop, talk? just looking around the corner? When you look around, make a make a wisdom check. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, okay. I'll give it to you with advantage because you're just trying to recall something you've seen before. This is a nightmare. In a moment, Tyler's going to be like, all right, he says, the the guy says, hey, it's really good to see you, Benji. (laughs) You remember my name, right? (laughs) What is it? That is... That is Sean Miller's personal fucking nightmare. (laughs) Because you have no idea how many times like people will come up and I've got such a bad memory. I'm like... (laughs) <laughs> Hi. Hey, guy. I, had, I was so drunk one time at the Big Apple that that you happened. You took me to prom, Sean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Seth McGregor's little sister. Whose <laughs> 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 name? I don't even remember. Brandy. Oh, yeah, there you Come go. Come on. <laughs> I just, I told you. <laughs> little Seth. <laughs> it was junior prom. That's even a year She's farther She's Bliss's back. cousin. I love her to death. So I'm like, <laughs> come on. Oh, Brandy. Yeah. Remember Seth, but not Brandy. <laughs> I graduated with Seth. Um, Most Magoo motherfucker ever in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to tell you a story about him later. Okay. That involves, <laughs> involves Jacob, actually, too. Okay, no, I rolled a 14 plus three, 17. You've seen this man once before in your great-grandmother's house. You remember being over there when you were very little and going into one of the bedrooms you weren't supposed to go into. And there was a portrait of this man in that bedroom. Oh. It's your great, great, great grandfather, Lionel. <laughs> Lionel. <laughs> nice. Okay. Your great, great, great grandfather, pepperoni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope cousin Cornelius doesn't show up. <laughs> You gotta figure out how to do that voice module. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, since I, I'm like, uh, it's my great, great, great something. What the hell? I'll, I'll go ahead and open the scroll. I, I'm, I'm gonna jump to the conclusion this is not dangerous if my family's giving it mm-hmm. to me. I mean, uh, the oath of a Barnes. It details basically a code of conduct to live for others and dedicate yourself to service and the greater good. It goes through all the tenants and the stories. I mean, it's it's you go through it. It's like like almost comically long, and it sort of recounts elements of his life and why he made this decision and tried to instill these values into his family and things he wanted to uphold. So, is he saying anything? No, you've never heard him speak, so he has no voice. Ah, uh, what is it? I, uh, I mean, it's. It's essentially how the Barnes family has always lived and acted and comported themselves. I have been, I guess you would say, less than excited to embrace it. I just kind of look at <laughs> look at Lionel. He kind of gives you a sad smile but shrugs. Yeah. But, um, I mean, I feel like maybe that's something that I need to change because it's obvious that we've got problems here. We've got problems with your family. We've got problems with an octopus We've got problems with. <laughs> we other don't. We band. don't have an octopus problem. We got ninety nine problems. <laughs> and, and not to mention the evil producer who may be trying to, I, I don't know, take over the music industry. Which, they, I mean, if nothing else, I can find a, I can find common ground with being good to keep from you know having ourselves and other bands be taken advantage of. Not to mention our town, which your father is brutalizing at every turn. So. Hmm. I just I just look at him and I roll the scroll up and put it in my pocket and just give him a nod. Yeah, he comes. Can up I sign that? I, 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 <laughs> no, I'm talking. I'm talking to Lionel. Can I sign that? I can sign that. Can I, Benji? Can I sign that? Can I see that? I mean, it, but I first have to adopt you. 
Oh, fine, okay. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you're okay with that. Here you go, son. <laughs> I'm glad we're doing this again. <laughs> like we did in the dwarf game. <laughs> All right, I forgot about that. You know what? On second thought, I'm not going to sign it just for the sake of not doing the same thing twice. <laughs> Come on, you don't want to be a bard. <laughs> I mean, it seems pretty nice. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, you see, he gives you a hug and after he lets go I'm see, looking at him like what's that <laughs> what's that man what's doing what's that yeah I'll give Lionel a hug you, he gives you a hug oh man you feel like soft laundry I'm gonna get in line for a hug <laughs> <laughs> he gives you a hug <laughs> well, well, I imagine here's, we're here's all just looking at Kenny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? We just, yeah, we just take turns for the next ten minutes hugging just each hugging. other. <laughs> he, Until he, finally, he just he just backs away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he points to everybody and and nods in approval and pats you on the back. And when he fades away, that's when there's that burst out of your chest for your your soul weapon. Benji levels up. Plus one to philanthropy, plus one to grit, plus one to truth. And your symbols each become returning. Nice. And when wielding your symbols, you have two weapon fighting. Nice. And their range increases 10 feet. That is awesome. And I cannot wait to try it out. And then you (laughs) float back down. You leveled up. I kind of thought you might. That's great. Feels good, doesn't it? I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling good. Like, on multiple levels. It's a joke. Yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a pun or something. I, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to laugh, but, no, I, I, just, but I like you. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like you, too. Yeah, thanks. And I'm going to try to be nicer. I, I really, <laughs> I love that. I really do. I love that. And you, you see, it looks like where he has now opened two other secret doors that were in this room. So you see one that opens, it's basically right beside that chalkboard that opens back into the classroom. And there is a... <laughs> this is what we failed to see earlier, <laughs> yes. <Yep. Yeah. laughs> and then now an unlocked uh, hic- hidden door on the southern portion of this room. Well, let's go, let's go to the room where we fucked up the check. Yeah, and go by the chalkboard and that little... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, when you said it was a classroom, I was assuming like there's a VHS player in this classroom yeah. somewhere, and we didn't find the <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> Damn it! Um, yeah, we'll go check that room. Yeah, you going back great. into the classroom or going south? We got two back s- in the classroom. The secret door to the south. What was the what? What opened up again? I zoned out. Basically, the door to the south will connect you to those three corridors. Okay. So there's a secret door that led to a room not on the map to the north, the room that led into the back into the classroom, and the southern one this leads room. back into yeah, right oh, there and it connects yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. So if we go back into the classroom, that the classroom connected to this room. Yes, and that's what we missed. Yes. We didn't miss anything in there other than the entrance to this room, which we now found. So there's really no point in going back into Correct. that room. Ah. Oh, oh, I see. He came through there. Well, he either way he opened up that door. Okay. Whether he came through there or not, he opened it up he opened for it us. Up. Okay. A, Here you go. I passed my check, you idiots. Where were you? <laughs> yeah. I swear, would you like to go from here? We can go before he leaves. But I can still hang these pedophile posters, though, right? That's yeah. okay. That's fine. Because yeah. I'm, I'm. He just takes it. <laughs> yeah, that, that guy's I'm a writing, jerk. Yeah. yeah. Takes it, and flips it off. I keep forgetting this is an audio medium, and my hand gestures. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we can go into this hallway if you want. All right. Yeah, let's go back to the hallway. I want to go like around this way and into the into the. Okay, with all the alcohol. We're going to the hallway yeah. this direction. You're going right through here. that secret door down here. Yeah, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Well, we might find something in that south exit that we didn't that we wouldn't find otherwise. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you walk out of that secret door, you see another one of those shitty goblin-made walls that's blocking you from getting into the main, the large grill room. Gotcha. And then in this. I'm going to start taking it apart. In this hallway are four large gears. You see those little, each of these little alcoves have very, very large gears that are slowly turning. Ah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. They are not turning, but they are four, four large gears that almost look like water paddles for like a, the side of a windmill where water would go through and move a that. water to, wheel. To, water wheel. Thank you. Yeah, windmill uses wind, so a water mill for a, for some grain. 
There you go. It's a, it's it's a windmill, but it's water. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a stoner thought right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they, it looks like they are not currently turning. And there's, you see there's a, a yeah, pig the, hole behind one of them. Pig hole behind which one of the gears? Top left one. Um, does what it are, look like the wheels have moved recently? No, they're covered in dust. What are they made of? Like wood? Wood or? and metal. wonder if these levers that we keep finding... Well... I mean, release some water, the, and then the they turn the gears, and then the gears open those big doors that are bothering me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it looks like they haven't. Like we've we've thrown a couple of switches. You would think that if we had thrown, did them, we pull the second lever we found? We did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we pulled two. Maybe well, there's two more. Two. Yeah, Maybe. but you Maybe would think one if we each gear. Yeah. You think you have to do all four to get all four of them to move? You would think that if you pulled one, it would. Start I mean, moving if they're or, associated yeah. with these, I don't yeah, right. think that's even the case. But um, can can we look at like just the mechanism itself? Does it look like there's anything nearby that they're attached to? Because uh, you see, it looks like it goes more. It attaches to more gears that are go up into the ceilings and behind stone walls. And when uh, we pulled the lever, oh, with levers, I know that you know at the time we could kind of hear the direction that they were. You know, we would hear the thud. Mm -hmm. Is this kind of like in that direction or no? In that direction, but pretty far away. Okay. Is there anything um, blocking the way into this room? No. Why do we just, let's go down to that room and look around and maybe there'll be a clue in there. I'm going to mm -hmm. look, look around just to see if there's another lever or anything in here that might be hidden. Or yeah, I mean, I guess we should search around yeah. them carefully. Make perceptions, please. Perception or investigation? I'm sorry, investigation. You are correct. I'll, I'll lead if I can get an assistance from somebody. It actually, it kind of makes, it makes more sense for, as much as it sucks, because I like helping, it makes, we get four rolls if we do it all individually. Yeah, I guess that's you know true. What I mean? helping for, yeah, it's true. Yeah. I did not. I got three. I also got three. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 17. 22. Okay, the two of you, like, you know what? We're going to look around. So you guys start searching, and Lim, you're over there behind one of the gears, and you spot a lever in the down position tucked back behind one. And then, Liz, you're over. You turn the hole from the alcove. You just turn around to look at one, and you notice a secret door at the bottom alcove to where it looks like it'll attach to a, another room. I don't even say anything about finding one. I just pull it. Yeah, you. Once you hit it, then you those gears just just start. All of them, turning. or just that one? All of them. What the hell was that? What did uh, you do? I turned them on with this lever. I'll gesture to the lever. You hear another very loud metallic thud. This one's louder than the others. Yes. Where, Presumably where, because it's closer. Where did it come from? To the southeast. Is that kind of the direction that we <laughs> came from? <laughs> No, it's not. Okay. No, it's the it's the direction the direction we are heading. Oh, great, perfect. So, is this north up at the top of here? <sighs> I didn't. Which way? Oh, I I'm, thought, look, I'm looking at it. He's got it upside down. I think. Which way is north? North is this. Oh, that's true. Is this north? Yes, that's how I'm oh, looking I'm, at it. Pfft, I've been looking at this map upside down this entire time. See, Navi spins out. Listen. Hi. Oh, well. Uh, I think you guys have unlocked something. Yeah. Cool. Like the big doors that were closed, maybe? Oh, well, maybe, maybe. But something else in here you've unlocked. Oh, like an uh, achievement? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, but something for later. I okay. wouldn't say you don't want to do it right now. You, is it a secret? Is it like a surprise? <laughs> you can't tell us? You unlocked another floor. Another floor? <laughs> <laughs> Then I don't know of anybody that's been to been to it, but you unlocked another floor. But that's it's not, good, I guess. But, it, <laughs> but, it's, but it's not for right now. Okay, it's not for right now. Got it. When right. is it for? We'll know. I think. Well, <laughs> maybe. I think oh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> maybe the elevator. If you're having so much fun maybe. with this game, by the time yeah. we wrap it up, <laughs> we'll just come back and take a look. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bonus content. Is it the endless dungeon? Did we unlock the endless dungeon? Maybe the, the you know the from Lufia two the hundred level dungeon. Uh -huh. The dungeon of the ancients or whatever. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But easy, you all reset at one, lose all your gear, and we start all over. I mean, we're only level three. Wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> um, that hidden door that I found, 
Yes. Um, can I check it for traps? Yes, check it for traps. 11. Yeah, because you sort of slide that door back a little bit and you're checking it. Something smells really weird on the other side. It's like a weird combination of bleach and cranberries and mud. It's very, very weird. Okay. I'll... That's our mayonnaise room. <laughs> but this door does not appear to be trapped. I will call everyone over and have them come smell this weird smell. <laughs> oh, that smells weird. Uh, Tyler, is you've been hanging out with dudes too much. <laughs> that smells weird. Is the hidden door right here? Yes. Okay. Leading to a room that is not on the map. Let's go in. Okay. Let's open the door. Kenny, I'm worried about something. This is, doesn't have anything to do, but you mentioned the apothecary, which reminded me of uh, the room where we found Director Max's name tag. Yeah. I'm concerned that that ties into uh, Dane Donstar somehow. Probably. I, I think you're probably right. Yeah. Um, Why do you say that? Well, because we, of that video saying like how they could use it and all that. We, we shared the information about us going into Dane Donstar's Right, his did dream. We, so he did. He, we share that with you. Tyler Shakes said no. <laughs> so well, Kenny and I went in the Dane Gunstar <laughs> subspace. This seems like a thing we would have talked about. But, you know, I don't know. I was excited about quiz notes. I guess I love. I love that Tyler immediately was just like, was like nope, nope. <laughs> I've listened to this several times. You never said a word. <laughs> we were, we encountered because I Dane remember you had the conversation. Have you been to any anybody else's subspace? No. <laughs> oh, did we lie about that? Sorry. I read something on the internet that was like, don't tell people about this. So Okay. Well, Which that's what I thought that was. So yeah. But, makes sense. But yeah, it's um we went into presumably Dane Donstar's subspace office that had like um little marionettes bringing him money. Uh and he sensed our presence. Yeah, and he he also was able to sense that there was two of us. Yeah, and I think it's because he knew that door that we got through could only be opened by two people. And what also made me think about that was in that video, it was two people. It was presumably Director Max and then a a, a woman. It sounded like mm -hmm. a female voice. Well, the the door in the garage that we came through. How many stars did it have? It only had one, but that just means that either one of us could have opened it and brought everyone through. It, we, it didn't take both of us to open that door. Yeah. If there's two stars on the door, apparently, apparently two people, two people that are tra traveling through subspace or whatever have to be present to open. And that's it. the first but either of us had seen anything like that. Me either. So, so I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm really sorry I mean, I that I, I didn't know mention that earlier. <laughs> I just kind of weirdly slipped my mind. I don't, I don't, um, I think, you know, when, when we were watching the tape, they, he mentioned all of us, not just two. I think this was like some sort of unusually large convergence in subspace by a bunch of people. Yeah. And they discovered this dungeon and... And now we've discovered it. Now we've it. discovered it, but apparently they, I, it doesn't seem like they made it very it long is, in here. Yeah. Is Nabby still around? Mm-hmm. How much do you know about subspace? Listen! Uh, I mean, a fair amount. Do you know about two star doors with the number two on them? I know it was in your subspace. I don't know if that means, it, if it means two people can enter, if it means it's just a certain kind of door. Oh, yeah, we just kind of assumed it was... It took two. That is true. I mean, we're, we yeah, we're extrapolating. From yeah, I mean, this, no, this thing don't. is like, I'm, I'm wondering... Because I believe there are one, two, and three star doors that I know about. Three star doors? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, but I what wonder they if, mean, what they do. I don't know if I, I can. I wonder if it's like, it, not necessarily indicative of how many people you need to get through it, but how important it is or something. Like yeah, it could possibly. be like a ranking. Yeah, we, don't, we don't know. Yeah. We're just assuming. We've only, I've only ever, and I think Lim shares this until we met in subspace, I'd only ever encountered doors with one star on them. Yeah. And but you'd also never been in subspace with another person. So true. it's it's it logical to think that it may be, but then again it may be something else. So it's just something to yeah think about. Put the bank. Um hmm. okay. Well, do y'all want to check this room out? Yeah. Oh the yeah. All right. We have a weird smelling room. Sorry. 
<clears throat> of course I do. I just, for whatever reason, that apothecary reminded me of that. Yeah. No, Is that's the good. door locked? No. Okay, I'll open it. Yeah, you slide it open. You're in the sort of a back entrance to what looks like some kind of old laboratory. Because you see there are different co- colored vials and beakers. and But you see there... The floor looks like it's littered with glass and rubble, and it looks like you see almost looks like gasoline has been spilled where it's like a rainbowy color, or you see a splash of vibrant blue or vibrant red, and everything here just smells really weird. There's a pile of rags in the middle of the room that are all different colors. Uh, you see it looks like there are torches that have been extinguished, cracked yellow rocks, huge bits of chalk and dust. Uh, piles of sand. It looks just. It's a. Looks like it is a destroyed alchemy lab. Okay, so you know how in like Skyrim, when you're in a dungeon with all the draugr and stuff, and there's that stuff on the ground that's flammable, and the easiest way to avoid like a trap setting it off is just to go ahead and light, light it on, it on fire. fire. I'm just saying, you know. Well, yeah, light it on fire. I'm gonna you step got little, out. You, got you little... mean moral wind. It's 2000. <laughs> yeah, you mean arena. I say arena. <laughs> you got that little, Elder Scrolls number one. <laughs> you got the little blowtorch thing still, right? No. No. Uh, no. Oh, that yeah. Blowtorch. That's right. We, we use that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's not an option. Um, um, I'm sure we've got flint and tinder around here I somewhere. have a tinder box. Well, I'm stepping oh, you back. You mean a zippo. I'm stepping back into the hallway while they're going to light a fire. Okay. Yeah, I want to watch <laughs> it. I'm, gonna, I'm staying in. I'm going to watch it. We're going to burn down the subspace. <laughs> nice stone in here, right? I, it's our it's our subconscious. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what does it look like it's made is of? It flammable? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you, you have really no way of telling. It almost looks like the food fight table from Hook. Like there are just different kind of vibrant colors and different materials and goo and liquid and sand and... Like on the walls and everything, mm-hmm. yeah. Looks like somebody came in here and just fucked shit up. There's a paintball match in here. Let's yeah, light it up. Light I don't it. care. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. Are you kidding? I mean, all right, yeah. You, how are you? How are you lighting anything on fire? I will. And what? Tell me what exactly. Um, I'm gonna go. I mean, we we just left the room where we cut the goblin out of the spider silk. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go get like a chunk of spider silk. Okay. And roll it up into a tight ball. With a little bit of like, basically form it into a bomb, but I'm lighting okay. like the wick, so you know, and then I'm just gonna light it, toss it into the room, and jump down the hallway. Okay, uh, you I am packing away before he does this. <laughs> just toss it in the center of the room. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm tossing it towards what looks like the stuff on the floor. Yeah, the flammable. Okay. I mean, I don't know that it's flammable, but the you shimmery said it, stuff. It's, it's making a shimmery. Yeah. <laughs> So you toss it uh, into the center of the room where it's sort of there, there's that stuff all around that pile of rags. And you toss it over there, and when it lands on the rags, the rags stand up in the shape of a person, very scared and on fire. <laughs> and then the material around them ignites and spreads. <laughs> oh, no! Are you, are you a good person? That was, that was one of the coolest encounters in the dungeon. <laughs> Yeah, and the room just quickly <laughs> immolates. Uh, everybody make a Tyler. constitution save for the noxious fumes now being emitted. A 16. Oh, I'm going to use my chip. <laughs> uh, 13 for me. 14. Um. 16. 18. Everybody okay, all of you pass. No one is poisoned. <laughs> Do you see everyone gains 100 experience points? Hey! <laughs> so that was the ragamuffin encounter. So had you gotten close to the pile of rags, it would have jumped up, wrapped around you, and controlled one of you, and I would have gotten to take somebody's character sheet and fight everybody else. Uh, <laughs> damn. But you all work together creatively? Yeah. we did. Go- I'm glad that didn't happen, because one of us would have had to sit out. That would have yeah. sucked. So I will give everybody, awesome. pass those around, red chips, working together, good job. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> when the fire dies down. That does sound you see, like a and really it, cool it fight. It burns, burns away, and you see, I think it'd be easy to now see in the soot two more trap doors, and then there is a pig hole on the western side of this room. 
trap doors or trap de doors? Two, two two secret doors. Two secret doors. Okay. Are they are they on the ground? They are on the east and south walls, and then huh. the pig hole is on the west. Let's open those doors up, right? Let me go uh, over to one of them. <laughs> See if it's locked. <laughs> Just pull on it. A pile of rags comes out. It's the laundry room. <laughs> Which one are you? The, so the one on the east wall or on the south wall? Uh, the, south, left, the, south wall left. the south wall just takes us into the hallway. Okay. Yeah, it leads you back it. into the hallway where all the big beds were. Just what, whichever trap door is on the left. Closest to the left. You pick. <laughs> we're going through all of them eventually, so... <laughs> It's like three encounters in a row that we've just, just drop a bomb on it and walk away. <laughs> we should have brought more bombs. I wonder if we can make some in this in the ruined alchemy lab. I wonder if that would make a good band name. Yeah. We should bring more bombs. We should bring more bombs. That's we pretty have, good. We have one-shotted like three major encounters in this yeah. dungeon. Yeah, the one on the east side, you slide it open and... This room is full of open cabinets that have been smashed, and there's glass everywhere. I found where they're keeping all the uh, smashed glass. <laughs> so oh, right that's here. where that came from. Yeah. Okay. Any ruined cabinets in there? Uh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. You need one? <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm I mean, there's good. plenty in here. That's okay. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. There's <laughs> you plenty to spare. Maybe this is where the Alchemy Lab used to keep their completed alchemy uh, inventions. Okay. Any rags on the floor in here? Or? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, any... When I first played this, that ragamuffin took control of JD's character and fucked our shit up. She yeah. nearly killed everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to search for any like non-broken bottles that may have may. really anything, but I figure that's the most likely thing to find. Is yeah. Make an investigation. 19... 17. Five. Seven. All of you working together, you don't find any intact potion bottles, but you do see a secret door on outline for one behind the cabinets. Okay. Why don't we search that secret door for traps? feel like I'm going to get lazy and complacent. Nope. Unlikely that I found one. Mm, 17. It was really hard to not it, say I open it right before you said the, <laughs> the number. <laughs> it does not appear to be trapped. What? I open it. <laughs> yeah, you open it, and it look it leads into a, like a wisdom safe, much <laughs> nicer bedroom. It's a fifteen by fifteen foot room with a single uh, king size bed in it. Black sheets. Looks like oak four post bed. Large closet. Everything's very very dusty. I'm gonna snoop around. Okay. Yeah. Make an investigation. Roll. Roll the 20. That's a 7 for me again. 17. 8. Lim, we're rolling badly today, brother. Yeah, that's okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're looking around. This looks... You're not sure whose. This is by far the nicest bedroom that you've found. There's not much in here, but you do see when you're looking around, uh, you move back the sheets on the bed. And it's a ragamuffin. <laughs> the bed comes <laughs> it's, to it's life. a sheet of muffin. A rag... <laughs> Goblin, whatever the thing I call him. <laughs> you find a, looks like a figurine of a silver raven. Ooh. Do you feel wondrous power emanating from that? Yeah, it does glow slightly. Let's take a 10. Yeah, that's right up Benji's alley. Okay, yeah, you take a 10 and a 2 I don't know yourself. what it is. <laughs> I mean, I know Sean Miller loves <laughs> figuring some wondrous power. I, so. yes. <laughs> There's, man, if I had found an obsidian elephant here, we'd have been in fucking business. <laughs> I would have been fucking business end if you found an obsidian elephant in this room. <laughs> Two dollars is not going to let those in his games anymore. <laughs> after, after Theo killed that one boss of Josh's with one, <laughs> the elf that was hiding in a tree just peppering us with arrows, so I had an obsidian steed, I just... Chucked in the air above it, said the command word, and dropped an elephant into the tree and killed the boss. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you find a figurine of wondrous power, Silver Raven. I'm going to eat something while we're resting. Uh, with You see engraved onto it is the name Chad. Oh, God. Chad the Silver Raven. Oh, man. We're... He gets all the cloaca. <laughs> 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 What'd you say, Nicole? I'm going to eat something while we're okay. resting. Can is we it take a D10? 
It's a D8 plus D8. three, I think, for your cupcake. Can we take um, an actual well, short rest? Something else you're eating. I have a falafel pita. Oh, okay. Oh. So you just eat and re- you could recover with your yeah your hit die. I don't think you use, you have used any. So what is that? A so waffle? Is it a D10? Yes, a D10 plus your Constitution modifier. Okay. Falafel waffle. <laughs> <laughs> An awful, An awful, awful waffle. waffle. An awful falafel okay, waffle. High five. It's a pretty good band name. Yeah. Now you can use <laughs> right, however many you need. I was going to need that one. Three D tens. Okay. That's all I need. That brings me to within one of full. So. Can we actually take an actual short rest, please? Yes. Let's do that. Oh, an IRL one. <laughs> an IRL. Yeah. IRL. Like an an IRL. R. An incredible okay. silver figurine that we found. Yeah. Chad. Standing in the black bedroom with Chad the Silver Raven. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, well, is, can you do something with him? Yeah, I can I can make him into a real Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we gonna do that? That sounds great, right? I can only do it like once every couple of days. Oh. So I feel like we might need I don't know why, but we <laughs> I, we could send a message to Link, but then again, I guess we could just use your phone. Oh, that's what he does is send messages. I don't have any cell service. Yeah. Send the bird. He's like a he's like a free data plan. <laughs> that's it's, pretty good. That's pretty he, nice. He he acts as an animal messenger. So. That's great. Yeah. Okay. I mean, out of all the figurines, that is probably the the worst one to have in this time period. But okay, all right. The least likely to lead to fuckery <laughs> when it comes to. Bosses and things. I, sure. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure out a way. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. In here is an R door, and an R is Ralph, Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn. Do we know based on the map if that's a door that we've encountered and just couldn't get through? It will lead into where there are the double iron doors. Yeah, it goes. Th- into the iron doors room. Let's yeah. well, let's open it real quick and just make right sure here that goes into yeah. this. The, yeah. the clunk we heard earlier. Yeah, maybe that was. But we've been on both sides of those doors, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just haven't been opened. Yeah. Well, we think we didn't have the keys to open the. F- There's four rooms in this little door in this little alcove where the big double iron doors are. We didn't. <clears throat> we we only got through. I don't think we. Well, we didn't get through the Gwendolyn door, obviously. I'm opening no, it. No, this one, this one is, yeah. The this door. I'm opening it. Open it back up into the, the double iron door room. All right. From the side that we've been on? It's the opposite from the side you've been on. I know right. we've been on both sides. I think we've that's been what on we've both been tri- That's what we're trying you, to figure out. Oh, because yeah. I know you came through the the pig hole in the Fitzroy. I'm stepping into oh, the room. You've been here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay. And there's... I think we op- we have a Morton door. Open in that. <laughs> but we were already in there. It's a large blue bedroom. I thought. Oh, I don't think we've been in no, here. No, I guess not. Search it. Yeah, let's search it. 18. 10. 10. 4. <laughs> uh, you're, you're searching. It looks just like the black bedroom. Very nice. Over on the desk, <clears throat> though, there is a pipe. A very, very nice oak and obsidian pipe. It glows slightly. Hey, look at that. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't. Uh, I'm guessing that... What did you roll? No, I rolled a 10. Okay, well, I rolled an 18, so I guess I found it. Um, That'll work. I'll point it out to everybody. <laughs> hey, there's a pipe. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm just... Probably magical, because it's glowing. Yeah. Well, let's let's take it and... Let's make. Let's Chill see on. if Chad wants to smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Chad smoke it? Do you think Chad smoke Wait, it? don't you still have your frog? I thought your frog would smoke it. Urban frog. Oh, well, urban he frog. likes cigars, but I don't know. What do you think, Urban Frog? Well, yeah. I smoke a pipe. Okay. Let me see that. <laughs> I'm willing to see where this goes. Me, All right. Me, I'll, I'll pick it up. See, here, let me see that. All right. Please don't turn into a realtor. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he extends his thumb in a flame. Looks like he pulls up some tobacco out of his cigar, puts it in, and starts to smoke it. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. That's going to be good, Urban Frog. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh. That's pretty smoky. And you see smoke keeps billowing out of it. Until <laughs> the whole room is filled with smoke. Oh, it's an ever-smoking pipe. 
Oh, an ever smoking pipe. Okay. Okay. Uh, everybody cool with Irvin Frog keeping that? Yeah, or? Irvin Frog can hold on to that. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe not. I mean, maybe go back to the cigar for now. Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm not going to argue with you. We're just going to deal with would not stop smoke for the rest of the game. <laughs> Everywhere we go. Like, we don't We don't need pyrotechnics for our shows. We just said urban frost. This actually works out really great for us wherever we are. It's just the rooms are full of smoke. I cast fairy fire. We can see them. They can't see us. It's going to be great. And it, you know, I, I'm assuming this isn't a frog-sized pipe. It's really big. <laughs> <laughs> it's human-sized. Yeah. Wait, don't magic mouth. items resize? <laughs> it just falls off your shoulder. <laughs> just can't bear right. the weight. <laughs> so basically, it's an ever-smoking bottle, but functioning as a, a pipe that functions as an ever-smoking bottle. Smoke leaks from this lead stopper, so whenever you light it and smoke it. When you use this, start smoking it, a cloud of thick smoke pours out to a 60-foot radius from the the pipe. The cloud's area is heavily obscured. Each minute, the bottle remains open or smoked. Within the cloud, the radius increases 10 feet until it reaches a maximum of 120 feet. It persists as long as it's being smoked. Stopping smoking requires you to speak a (laughs) command word as an action. Once Once you stop smoking, the cloud dissipates after 10 minutes. A moderate wind can disperse the wow. smoke in one minute, and a strong wind can disperse it uh, after one round. Wow. This is a good item. Mm-hmm. This Pretty really good. is a good item. Permanent smokestick. Nice. All right. Um, anything else in the room at all that we can... <laughs> we probably can't see anything. <laughs> She's shit in there now. There's all sorts of awesome stuff. You can't find it. <laughs> all right. So are there any other rooms left that we haven't checked? There's one in this little alcove. That I think is a Ludwig door. Okay, let's check it out. Yes. You slide it open, and it is a, a red room. It's like you had a black room, a blue room, and now a red room. I'm going to investigate. Same. Ah, you open it, and you see Scarlett Johansson. 16. Three. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> 23. Because yeah, you're, Benji, you're looking around, and you open the desk in there, and inside of it is a, looks like on a long gold chain, Looks like a skull with ruby eyes and an exposed brain that glows slightly. Okay. Let's make Chad smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put it ah, put it on her and frog. Put the necklace on him while he smokes it. <laughs> <laughs> Navi, take a picture. <laughs> I guess we'll take a minute to discover it's... Chill in a tune. It is a medallion of thoughts. Medallion has three charges. While wearing it, you can use an action to expend one charge and, tech, and cast Detect Thoughts spell save DC 13. Ooh. The medallion regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. That's cool. You want to take this I, to somebody? Nah. No, I don't want it. Someone someone else can have it. I don't want what people think about me. No, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I just don't. I mean, I've, I, I, I'll just ask. What are you thinking? <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. So you you're probably the most distrustful of people just in general. So yeah, I I'd am. say this is probably good for you. Okay, sure. <laughs> Although, as I say that, I realize that that I know that we should be reading her fucking thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh yeah, yeah, she murders people. <laughs> <laughs> now she can know that I'm worried about her murdering me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are all those charges expended already? <laughs> <laughs> Why are three charges gone already? <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. And <laughs> what you're planning on doing with Jill is disgusting. <laughs> Just go ahead and get that out. Well, there. it's uh, uh, presumably consensual. We haven't gotten there yet. I don't know. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. Thanks. So can I just wear it? But I also it don't want to presume that it's going to be consensual. Wear it, when I use it. <laughs> it will be. It will. You I mean, just wear it and activate it whenever, or, it will be. <laughs> or only wear it when you want to activate it. Okay. Does it match my outfit? Would a gold skull match your outfit? Mm, I might be taking my style in a more punk direction, so we'll go with it. Sure. You see, its go. brain was exposed. It's eclectic. Yep. You know. I mean, that, that seems like the centerpiece you build around. <laughs> yeah. That is a good point. <laughs> How big is it? Oh, fucking uh, flavor 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 flavor. Flavor. <laughs> yeah, clock. Big enough. <laughs> Big alarm clock size. It's like a half dollar. Okay, I'll, I can do that. It looks on you like the pipe looks with her. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. All right, guys. We have choices. 
we're done in this section. We've covered this whole section here. Okay. Uh, we can go into this, back into the gear hallway and into this room, or while we're right here, go through this secret door and unlock the rest of these rooms in this hallway. That one. I was going to say, did we never go to that room at the end of the hall? This one? No, we've not, oh. we've oh, not okay. gone in it yet. Let's go there. Yeah, well, you want to yeah, go we did, there, there were, or do there you were... want to go ahead and knock these out while we're right here? Have we been in this that room right here? No. We got to this door, but okay, we didn't so have a key. I say let's do these, and then let's and then go back and back. Yeah. Okay. Well, in that large, the double door iron room, you do spot a secret door in there. Is it on the south wall? Yes. Mm-hmm. Should have maybe thought that was something. I'll open that door. Looks like it opens up, and there's a 20-foot hallway where you don't see anything in there. Just like it's like a 20 feet 20 forward feet straight or f- wide? Yeah, 20 feet sh- straight in front of you. Let's, Five feet wide, 20 feet long. Okay, and then it just ends? It looks like it connects. It just ends. It, eh, probably nothing. It looks like it connects <laughs> with the ma- starting room. Ah, okay. Potentially. I mean, that's that's what I'm gathering. Well, let's go check it out. Maybe um, I'm worried about this floor for some reason, just because it's, it it's so, a long <laughs> it's, Yeah, there's hallway. nothing. Right, yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't know if this would be helpful, but Irvin Frog, why don't you blow some smoke into this hallway? You're very handsome. <laughs> 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 you get it, boyo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't understand me. I just sound like croaks. <laughs> Only he got it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use Chad as an intermediary to talk <laughs> to, talk to other animals? He said that you're very handsome. Yeah, well, he's a he's a very astute frog. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I want to blow smoke into the hallway. Yeah. Takes a deep inhale and he <sighs> blows smoke. And I want to take some of my flyers and just start like creating some wind and see if the smoke is, goes anywhere in particular. Make a perception twenty. Yeah, because you see it looks like the smoke kind of swirls around the floor below you. The looks like there might be some kind of outline on the left wall and then at the very back of the room. So knowing that and what I'm looking for, I want to look for traps, particularly okay. with the floor section. Make, it, make a different investigation. I'll help with that. Rolled an 18. I helped. So 23. You see that it is a trapped floor, but it has been disabled. Okay. Recently disabled. Recently disabled. I want to check the wall. You said there was a something, some of it was swirling around the wall yep. on the east side. Yes. I'll check that. Yeah. You can check that wall. Go ahead and make an investigation. Four. I'll help. Not trapped. I helped. 16. Not trapped. Okay. You are certain. Okay. Is there any... any? So it looks like what, what was on the wall was part of the trap, too? Look, the wall is just a secret door. The trap oh. was the floor, but it looks like it was a where it would have fallen through, but you see where dust has been disturbed, where now there's braces below it, keeping it up. So there is a secret door on this wall. Yes. I'm going to open it. Yeah. You just slide it open, and it looks like it's a very dusty armory. All right. Search it for loot. How how big a room is it? Say ten by ten. Ten by ten. Yeah, you know, it's about what I would have guessed. <clears throat> and, but we don't see any moving figures. Any no, rags there's in the middle of the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Oh look! Oh, on the ceiling. There's rags on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> yeah, because immediately you find two hook hammers, two light picks, one heavy pick, a suit of half plate armor. And a small steel shield with an emblazoned gear on it. Hmm. And then there's a large treasure chest against one of the walls. I'll check on. Nice there's try, a, mimic. There's a large, <laughs> there's a large padlock on it. Throw some fire at it. <laughs> blast, blast. <laughs> Liz, you want to check the lock on that treasure chest? Do I want to open it, or is that what you're asking? I mean, if it's yeah, locked, you surely it's not it. trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll check it for traps first. Okay. I rolled a 19, so 23. See, nothing that would indicate that it's trapped. Okay, and then I will try to open it. Make a thieves' tools check, because there is a large padlock on it. Okay, and so that would be... Dex. Dex, that's right. Plus your proficiency. Yeah, you're proficient. 12. Yeah, you can't get that lock. What kind of lock is it? Is it like a like a padlock it's style a thing, padlock. or is it like built mm-hmm. in? You think we could take one of these? I was gonna say and take a hook and a break he- it. a heavy pick and swing it at it. Okay, I'll do that. All right, make an attack roll. 
This is 16. Pit. Phew. <laughs> I rolled a one. Oh, wait. Yeah, I was rolling, rolling damage. damage. Oh, no. Sorry. So the, the heavy the heavy pick would do like a D8. A D8. Plus your strength. This eight. We'll do a D10. That'll work. Ten? That's oh, what, that what did, you that have as a ten. ten. Yeah, oh, that's a ten. That's fine. Eight. Yeah, you smash, it, smash that lock. What's in that? I'm going to open it. Inside, you find 16 crossbow bolts, two smoke sticks. Ha, ha, ha. Don't a, need those. A thunderstone. Ooh. A tangle foot bag. Ooh. Uh, I'll take that. Yeah, that seems like a good one. A what? Tangle uh, foot bag. It's like a, it's a, it's like a net grenade. Yeah. I'll take, what's a thunderstone? Looks like it looks, uh, it's a big stone with holes in it. So when you throw it, it makes an incredibly deafening sound. It's a flashbang, essentially. I'll take that if nobody minds. Go for it. And, and then the crossbow took... bolts. Who has a crossbow? I've uh, got They both do. No, I have a bow. I thought we gave you a, you a short I thought bow. we gave you a, a crossbow as well that we found. Mm. I don't. I, we didn't because I still have the crossbow and the heavy crossbow because okay. she had her bow. Oh, yeah, 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 used yeah, for gotcha. And I'm probably the heavy crossbow was kind of hard to use, mm-hmm. so it may be like a situational thing that we ever even use it. You taking these, the you taking the bolts then? Yeah. Are these glowy at all? These bolts or are they no? Okay. Um, I forgot I had the trident of fish control. Yeah. <laughs> I just looked down. I was like, oh <laughs> man, if only ravens were fish, that'd be cool. I'm gonna. Take we'll, the gear. We'll work on it. I'm yeah. gonna take the gear shield and put it in my bag. Okay. And then there's that half plate, which I don't think anybody would get any benefit from. I'm not interested no. in it. We could sell it to somebody at Trader's Mall. We could <laughs> definitely sell it to somebody at Trader's Mall. That's got Trader's Mall written all over. Actually, that's a little too nice for Trader's Mall. <laughs> uh, well, Does what? Anybody, anybody want the smoke sticks? Since we've got the right, just sure, keep, keep them in party pipe. loot. Man. Yeah, you take them. Yeah. Yeah, party loot sounds good to me. Um, so what was the next door that we hadn't... We still haven't made it down to the corner room, right? We need to check that out. Well, we've got these, the rest of these to open, which we only a- were able to open two. Well, no, I think we've opened three. We've got two that we have not opened. Okay, well, if we're just standing right there, then... Because we opened the Ludwig door there, right, Tyler? We got the three on this side, didn't we? Yes. Okay, so we haven't opened a Morton or a Lawrence door there. Let's go so open them. We can go open them. Um, I'll open the Lawrence door. Which one is that? Point that out to me. That's another uh, sleeping quarters that have been completely emptied out. Okay, and then this one. You open that, and there is a room that's completely dusty, uh, has two cribs in it, and a changing table. Ooh. Why was there a nursery? Well, we can investigate, I reckon. Roll the 20. 13. Mm, seven. 13. Yeah, you you look it over. You don't, it doesn't look like it's ever actually been used. Hmm. You have no, there's no indication that there's ever, ever even been anything in this room. Like it may have just been a just in case sort of situation. But yeah, nothing in here at all. Down at the end of this hall, before we get to the office where we found the map, we've got a, I believe, junior door, Gwendolyn. They're in the same hallway, so we can just check them real quick. Just on either side of the same hallway? Yeah. Down in front of the office. Real quick, hey, Navi. Listen! Hey! Um, Is there any way you can take these videotapes and convert them into something we can watch with you later? Just leave with them. Yeah, I know, but we don't always have a VCR laying around. We'll take them to Broadway Video, and they'll convert it to mm. a digital format for us. Yeah, I guess I could I could record them mentally. Sure, that makes sense. Okay. That way we don't have to worry about keeping them. But also, the I want to be able to get a picture of Director Max somehow. Okay, I can do that. And the junior door is actually the one that had the lever in it, the first lever that I pulled. So Okay. Uh, in the shush sign. Yes. We just never went through that door. We went through the, the back way. big holes and right. stuff that yeah. were in there. Uh, so we'll open the Gwendolyn door right there. The one on the opposite side? Yes. <clears throat> Do you think that junior alarm is like, uh, that door is alarmed or something? Like it'll set off an alarm? No, I'm just letting you, I don't know. I'm just letting you know. I'm just, that, well, you mentioned that room. Now I'm thinking about what the, what was that shush about? Oh, I mean, that's yeah. been bugging the shit out of me since right. it happened. But. Okay, yeah, you open that door, make a... Um, 
No. Make a perception. Uh, 23. Nice. For yeah. once. As soon as it opens up, you see there's a bed in there with a goblin laying on it asleep. And whatever the sound of it opening looks like it sets up in warning. Looks like it's scrambling to grab things around it. I'm going to pull out my shotgun and fire. Make a surprise attack. What is that advantage? Yep. 13, 11. 13 plus your dex plus oh, your... Uh, yeah, it's closer to 18. Like <laughs> Hit. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be 13, 12. Yeah, because you see it scrambling and just as it's opening, slide your shotgun in and blast it. It <laughs> turns into coins. <laughs> did it have a red jacket on? It did. Okay, well, that's full of holes now. <laughs> or no, well, it's not. Two, two copper pieces. <laughs> okay. That was that was the one helpful goblin in the whole <laughs> place. <laughs> no, I'm just sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any search for loot? Yeah, yeah. It looks sort of like a not uh, me dilapidated bedroom in here. Seventeen on a. I rolled a twenty. A ten. See lots of crude drawings of homes and plans to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of weirdly cute. <laughs> <laughs> Pe- people made out of paper they they've cut out to go and shop around and their plans and floor plans. <laughs> Oh, I really like how they dude got was like out. dude was like jumping out of bed because he thought he had a showing yeah. that he missed that he was late for he overslept. <laughs> you must be you must be the prospective buyers. <laughs> uh, they have a treasure chest inside that looks like he was trying to grab, so it's already open. Inside there are two realtor's jackets, three chemical glow sticks that glow really brightly when you break them, two flasks of oil. A pack of matches, a thunderstone, a ceramic mask portraying the the sad visage of the the theater, the dual masks. Weird. Yeah, and then it looks like a silvered placard of uh, looks like dancing dryads, and it has gems set into it. Oh, and a silver ring shaped like a serpent biting its tail with gems for eyes. What's that? Is, ca- what's that? Is any of that a- glowing? No, I made a pin. Out of silver once, that is exactly how you yeah. just described it for Tanya. <laughs> yeah, it's got like emeralds for eyes. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm. Everybody gained five experience points, by the way. All right. <clears throat> so now we go Now we go to that door in the south corner uh, or north corner. I don't know. We would be going back up north and into the little corridor with the gears and yeah. then into a big room. Because you see, uh, you walk into that room and it looks like a, a big, heavy construction room because there are like conveyor belts. And large, like large drills, other other gear works. There's something very large underneath a big white sheet when you walk into the room. But you see, there's rubble Shoot all it. over the place in here. When it's, it's a Titanicus. Are there any? I want to see if there's any potential attackers in here. Make an investigation. Eleven. Seventeen. Neither you guys see anything. Okay. Um, I want to far hand that sheet. Yeah, you pull it off. And you see the dragon zord standing there. When you pull the sheet off, play the flute. It looks like it activates. Roll for initiative. Oh shit! Told you we should have attacked it. I told you what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of obvious, right? Yeah. It's big rubble around it. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Fifteen. Twenty. It stole all our hamburgers. Twenty-two. Ten. Nine. I feel like every time I think I've rolled really bad, you've always rolled worse than me. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's true. You see, it immediately raises its hands, and you see it's, I get, do you know what the Dragon Lord, Dragon Zord looks like, Miller? It looks like it's like the Megazord from Power Rangers, only it's the green and black, and he has hands that he holds out, and then missiles are loaded into his fingers, and he blasts missiles at everybody. Make dexterity checks. Don't you have some kind of missile snatching or something? I do, if this is a weapon attack. I it don't is. know if it's a weapon attack. Then yeah, I'll snatch one of those missiles. I don't know how many are coming at me, but <laughs> oh, it's coming at all of you. Yeah, it's just a swarm. Ten. So, no, what sorry, are, sorry. What are we supposed to roll 14. here? Dexterity. Dexterity. Check. Dexterity. Yeah. Fourteen for me. Twenty-two. Sixteen. And then you're snaring stuff out of the air. Yeah. yeah. Everybody takes half damage. So that's reduced by thirteen. So six points of damage, everybody saved, though three total. Except for Lim, whenever it's coming at you, you just sort of grab it, and I guess you could, you'd negate it so you can throw it back at it. Uh, I think I have to meet a certain threshold before okay. I can, like, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is, because I, I don't have the... I think it has to do no damage. Like, you negate all damage that it would have dealt. Oh, yeah, and I'll throw it back at it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it takes damage from its own missile as you <laughs> redirect it. Who has the Dragonzord flute? I do. 
We should probably play that thing. I don't. Okay, Benji. Is that a thing that you can? I, I guess you can. Um, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. just gonna go ahead and attack it. And, and oh, and you have a mask now. The sad I mean, mask. Do we do we want to like drop our initiative to Liz to let her try and lull it to sleep with the pollute if we think that's how it works? I mean, I suspect that it will recognize it and then be not attacking us anymore. Like it'll see us as hopefully it'll see us as its masters and will not attack any longer. But I. Just guessing. I don't really know. So why don't we just drop all our initiatives down to Liz and let her try that? And if it doesn't work, we'll just attack. I'm fine with that. I mean, that. does that... Does that we can't Which just... Mean? I mean, it's I mean, already gone, so it's not like we'd be out, yeah. you know, yeah. anything to the way... Yeah. And just in case, I, I mean... Sure. We, I go after her anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, Benji delays, Kenny delays, Liz. I play the flute. I thought this thing was a... It's a flute and it's a dagger. Dagger. Yep. Okay. You blow into one of the ha- the the hilt ends, and then okay. it has holes up and up down the the shaft of the weapon. Okay, I will play the make thing. a perform check. All right, I'll clap along. <laughs> clap, clap, clap your hands. Twenty. It sounds like you're playing a trumpet. Which is really weird. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks like it its eyes flash red. What directive are you giving it? Yay. Uh, cease. Stand down. Stay, yeah. Yeah. It cease stops. And desist. Yeah, it stops. There you go. <laughs> go tell her to kill my half brother. Everybody gets fifty <laughs> experience points. Oh yeah, now this thing we can control and take along with us. How it's too big, isn't it? It's as bad as big as you were, so we can't as long as giant Benji was. So it can fit through gear doors, but it couldn't go through pig holes unless it drills with its drill tail. So, With its drill tail? Yep. Okay. It also has a drill tail? Yep. Nice. So it um, sent missiles at us. Mm-hmm. Does it have more missiles? Like that? It has one more round of missiles it can okay. fire. Um, okay. Can I just say follow us? Yeah, it'll follow you. Okay. <laughs> You now you are now the Green Ranger to have control of the Dragon Zord. <laughs> did we search this room yet? Or did we no, immediately get I into mean, trouble with it? We just we looked for anything that might be dangerous. No, we didn't see anything. Then I pulled the cloth off, then it attacked. Uh figure it's worth a snoop before yeah, we move make on. Make an investigation. And and <laughs> or, order it to move so we can look and make sure there's nothing under it too. Okay. If, I, will. Pl- it, I mean I don't mean to. Like I mean, I said to follow us. I'll just walk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Walk yeah. Just follow me. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna follow you. I'm the Dragon Zord. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I failed my investigation. Uh, 17 for me. 17. Not as good for me. 17. Has I'll roll it. It won't be good. Uh, natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks like it's just machinery in here. Uh, Liz, you don't see anything. But Lim, you're sort of looking around and you see in the. The head of the dragon zord. It's that same big blue <laughs> spinel you saw in Titanus. Oh, I see. It's it has its it has its soul. <laughs> you mean <laughs> the power source? A like power I'm source carrying that's around worth a lot of money. Yes, I've got that, and I've got the original Titanus power source. Liz, that's worth a lot of money. Okay, well, right now we need. And I just observe. Him. I say that, and I observe. <laughs> <laughs> Right now we need him, so... <laughs> okay. I mean, I would say that the we'll, whole thing is worth a lot of money. Like, we'll leave him intact for now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We may have a fight. And we're going to pull up in Louisville with a big dragon sword <laughs> in the back of our truck. <laughs> it didn't even... That's a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hadn't thought of that either. <laughs> no, I, I was thinking it would help us in like any fights along uh, the way no, before we leave here, but absolutely. incorporating him into the... <laughs> into like, the act? Yeah. We're the Go Green Rangers. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's going on the list. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, down, we got. I'll some... even give a, a uh, Liz. You have a shimmer of a golden shield that goes across your shoulders and your chest, like the Green Ranger has. Since you are in, you have the flute and the dragon sword. <laughs> <laughs> You're really OP right now. Yep. Uh, we got stairs in front of us going up. Well, let's just. I mean, it, we're we're to the point. There's not that many rooms left. Let's just determine what those rooms are and just hit them one by one. We I got mean, one room in front of us that we haven't been to. Oh, well, Everything shit. else. <laughs> that one. <laughs> That's why I was just saying we have steps <laughs> going up into a hallway that turns to the left and then goes straight into a door, which is 
whatever because we have all the keys. So yeah, that's my my bad. I thought we had been in that. I thought like nope. this was basically the only like stretch of shit we had. This seen is yet. the only room we have not been in yet that I know of that's on the map. Oh. So all right, it's it's approximately the same size as the room we just were in, like the machinery room. Maybe there's another Zord. Zord five. Zord. So I'm going down through that. Uh, down this hallway and to the door here uh, on this it is, uh, funky shape. Aurora room. door. Uh, okay, I'll open it. Slide it open. Because you see there was a, there's a pig hole on the side of that hallway as well. On which side? East or west? It's on the east side. All right. It connects to the alchemy room. Yeah. West, west, baby. <laughs> yeah, you open the, that west door side, and you're hit with... Um, <laughs> It smell. It just smells bad. It smells like something. It's mild, but it smells like something dead in this room. Is it? Do we see a dead thing? Uh, you see big strips <laughs> of leather hanging everywhere. Ooh, Ew. like cured leather. Like yes. it's leather. Le- okay, leather, leather. Not like soon to be leather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It looks. It looks old in here. Yeah. Uh-huh. So this this appears to be a tannery of some sorts. Yes, I will investigate. I cannot roll an investigation. Fifteen save my life. Eleven. Were you doing anything? (laughs) I'm just blown away by all the dead animals in the room, and I'm I'm trying to say. (laughs) Oh yeah, this is the vegan nightmare room. Yeah, I'm 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 saying a quick prayer to whatever. (laughs) Veganicus. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Meanwhile, Kenny's standing there. Schmeegan the vegan. Lord of all that is meatless. <laughs> what was your investigate? I don't know. Or are you not investigating? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I will. No, I got shit. Ten. Yeah, because you guys kind of move in and start looking around. It just smells so bad. Liz, you spot just barely in the corner as you see a goblin in a red jacket, but it is looks like it's cowering into the corner behind some boxes. Uh, you, you see it like you. It's a. It's very good at hiding, uh, but when you when you take a better look at it, like you notice in the corner of your eye, oh, a damn goblin. When you turn and look at it, you see about a quarter of its face is human, and the rest of it is goblin with the the red jacket on, and it is pressed down and trying to hide and, and shaking. I will <laughs> blast him. <laughs> I will say, hey. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> to the goblin, I will say, hey. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> We're not going to hurt you if you don't hurt us. Hurt me? What are you talking about? Man, I told you this bitch was dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Make a persuasion. I'm very persuasive. Oh, shit. <laughs> Baby, <it was> all. <laughs> Eleven. You got a red chip, don't you? I, I mean, I. I mean, we'll just kill it. All. Yeah. Because <laughs> you see, it grabs its its crossbow and kind of hunkers in the corner, just shaking, pointing it at you. Have we seen this thing yet? After that, yeah. After she says something to it, then you can look around and notice it. <laughs> Let me try to. Hey, hold on. Wait a sec. Talking to it, to, to the goblin. It's like it's, you see, it's one red goblin eye looking at you, but then it has a, the uh, the top quarter of its face where its, its eye has a blue human eye and brown hair. Don't don't shoot. Make a persuasion. Nineteen. I rolled a twenty, but I have a negative one. Well, it's still a natural twenty. Still a natural twenty. Oh, okay. So it still it it lowers its crossbow. Do you? What's going on? What are who are you? <laughs> You see, like it's it's straining to talk. <laughs> Nate. Nate. Does that name mean anything to us? How long have you been down here? I, I don't remember. Who did this to you? Did you start off human, and or did you start off goblin? Yeah, it looks at you confused. He doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't know what's up. Mm. Uh. uh Hi, I'm Lim, by the way. Do you know anything about, um, well, I've been calling it Project Mind Freak, but, uh, what's the real name of it? Mind- <laughs> Mindful? Mindful. Mind- Project Mindful. IRC ports. IRC? IRC? Read about it. You use subspace? Yes. Oh my god, is this Mambo 69? 
Are you Mambo number 69? Please tell me you're not. <laughs> no. Do you know him, though? Have you seen the name? I mean, his eyes are kind of glossed over. Know the name. Yes. Were you sent here to... Were you put on station here to defend this room? Hiding. What are you hiding from? <laughs> the giant dragon sword you've got with you? <laughs> <laughs> Gray cloaks. The gray cloaks. What the hell are the gray cloaks? We haven't encountered any gray cloaks Mm-mm. down Not here. That I know of. Unless it was something we just blasted out of <laughs> sheer <laughs> fucking luck or whatever. I mean, you're not wrong. I can't, can't leave. Tried waiting. You're waiting for what? Death. Maybe you should come with us. I was going to say. I mean, we could use a roadie, right? Can't leave. Tried. What happens when you tr- when you try? End up back. Like you t- teleport or something back or Yes. So you've almost you've seen the you've seen the out and tried to leave and then you're shot what back right here? Yes. Do you want to try something that's weird? Maybe. Get in my pocket. Some space pocket. Yeah, I don't know what'll happen. You can try. I don't. I mean, at your own risk. But I mean, it sounds like stuff's pretty grim for you right now. It's like he stands up, fading, fading away. Well, don't fade away. I'm busting J Lee on the boards, by the way. So I don't know. It looks like he looks. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's called IRC boards. It's weird. I don't know. Nate, first time caller. <laughs> Nate, first time caller. <laughs> yeah, I've read. I've you, yeah. You've seen the name. Yeah. Hey, if there's somebody on the outside, do you need us to contact somebody for you in case you don't make it out of here? You see, that makes him collapse, and he starts crying. Please, my girlfriend, Irish lass. Oh four. All right, I'm gonna give. I'm going to reach into the my subspace bag and I'm going to give him the gold bracelet that says, to my love, my Irish lass. Yeah, his eyes get big. I, I brought that here for her. Lost it. That's yours? I see. Is she here? Got away. Do you want me to give this to her? Please. How long have you been here? I don't know. Yeah, you're. I think we found maybe p- potentially a tape. With you in it, maybe? I don't know. If you came with her, we did. We found a video with a, like a, a man's voice and a woman's voice. I used a, used a wand. Yeah, yeah, that was you. We saw that. I destroyed that iron stone that wasn't the wand. I also destroyed that wand. Yeah, you destroyed the wand. <laughs> <laughs> I used it. It started fading away. Yeah. Yeah. I could... I could leave. I came back. I couldn't pass through here. Kept trying to find the way out. And then I couldn't leave after I faded so far. I couldn't leave. Uh, Does he notice the thin shimmer of a red jacket on me? Is he (laughs) any reaction to that? (laughs) Oh, you're right, yeah. (laughs) Because... Well, let's see if he notices because yours is yeah. He looks like he hasn't really even paid attention to you. Uh, <laughs> you, you if you draw attention to yourself, I, I mean, I'm gonna say like, did it after you used that wand? Did it just get worse and worse? Yeah, because he looks at you in his eyes. Then his eyes get big. You're fading away. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, don't look at me. I told you it was bad. I mean, very, <laughs> very it light. Still, you can still leave. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. We should go <laughs> before this gets any worse. Do you want to try? Do you want to try to get in my pocket? So he he stands up and holds out his goblin hand. Yeah, I'll ta- I'll grab it. And w- this is weird, but I'll ha- I'll help him <laughs> into my pocket. <laughs> he he tries, and as soon as he does, he vanishes and ends up back in the corner. Yikes! Yeah, he just looks like he he's his human eye is crying and he just stands up how can we help you man I, I don't know I, I think plenty of others have 
faded away too. This place is cursed. I guess I'm asking, do you want to stay here until you fade away or do you want me to help you on your way? I mean, maybe we can... I mean, there might be a way, right? There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. We can open We can open this fifth door here and see if he can walk through it. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Maybe we just have to, like, figure out a puzzle or something, and then you're... Then you can go. Don't give up. Make a persuasion. 21. Okay. I'll open the fifth row door. But if, if I can't... Please, her name is Abigail. Give give her the bracelet and tell her I'm sorry and what happened. We'll do it. Don't let her ever come here, please. But Project Mindful, I think it was real in here, and I bet they disappeared. I'm gonna look around the room. We never, I never have done this. Okay. We spot. Well, no, we did though, didn't we? Because that's how you how you spotted. Yes. Him. So I think I actually did. It's just like lots of, I mean, there's lots of leather here that's kind of old, but still could be used. Hey, I have something I want to you to try. This is um, a very special sandwich to me that I've been saving for a very special occasion. But maybe this will let you hang on a little bit longer. Are you hungry? Looks like he pulls out rations. I, I can eat. I mean, but this is a good sandwich. I mean, that's just rations. That's like nuts and raisins and stuff, right? He pinches off <laughs> a hit point of it, so it'll it'll heal one d eight plus four. Okay. And he, and he eats it, but you don't see anything noticeably different. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't give up. We we'll get out of here. I don't know why I kept coming back. It was it was it was like something took over my head, and I had to come back. Like a compulsion kind of thing? Yes. Mm. <laughs> I worry. I worry that, that it's not just disappearing, that it's also the glow. Yeah, okay. I've heard, yes, the glow. You... I don't know that It's he... connected? I just know the glow is like an infection for subspace. Once you get it, you change. I mean... People thought that it's someone else controlling you. I've heard that. Mm -hmm. Infesting them with your will from deeper in your subspace. I I just wanted to marry her. Well, you still very well might be able. We're going to get... We're going to keep on pushing. Maybe Liz will let you ride on her Zord so you don't have to exert energy. He just kind of... Zord... Uh, yeah, I'll just turn and see if it's still there. <laughs> now I'm worried it's gone. It's it's still there. Yeah, I'll just point my thumb at it. The drill? Uh, yeah. yeah. Just a drill. What do you mean it's just a drill? It's a, it's a dragon sword. It, it looks like a bobcat drill. Weird. Is that something that you're very familiar with? Bobcat drills or... Oh, okay, because I'm not either, so I was curious maybe if it was just taking on the form of whatever we, you know, think a drill should look like, and we're just really nerdy people. <laughs> your your presence is stronger here than mine, so you probably see, I, don't know, I feel like this is different for different people. Yeah, well, we've definitely seen things from each of our, inside our minds, kind of blend in together here. Have you ever met a gray-skinned guy that looks a little like him with glowing eyes? Mm-mm. Thought he might have met Nicolin at some point. Did you yeah. see a wedding chapel? No. No. I had one here. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, <laughs> Navi kind of told us that this place is kind of like a a canvas that we've each kind of painted on. Can Can I point at Kenny's map? And I point to where the Jill room is. I was like, is this where you had the... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, put him out of his misery. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I feel like that's the good no. thing to do. Well, actually. is that what Lionel would do? <laughs> actually, I don't Wait, know. I mean, I don't know. This guy's in pretty bad shape. You see he takes a deep breath again, and you see he gets more goblin-y as it creeps up to where about half his eye is red. Get on, get on the drill. We'll, we'll move fast. Yeah, it looks like he 
goes up and sets on it on the dragon sword's shoulders. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. Straight ahead into the throne room. Yeah, I mean, let's just we'll just head to the elevator and try to get this guy out of here. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I don't. Well, I don't know because I'll ask him. Have you tried the ele- Have you tried the elevator? No. Oh. Then yeah, let's definitely <laughs> try the elevator. Yeah. Looks like he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out three keys. They look like they have different motifs of countries on them. I couldn't find all the keys. I see. We found them all, but yeah. they look different. They're very good. Oh. Well, there's more. There's a lot of us here, and two of us are vegans. So, okay. man, you're a lot better than me, then. <laughs> <laughs> I think right. I've been just chewing on this leather for the past <laughs> God knows how long. <laughs> you know Family what? feud style. Burr, burr, burr. Let's get the vegan police trapped in Jazzatrude. <laughs> <laughs> then you can eat as much fucking meat as you want and keep your vegan powers. They're not coming out. Man. What does vegan police Jazzatrude look like? <laughs> Are you guys going over to the elevator? I'd yep. say let's yeah. head our way. I think we've cleared the this level. Okay. I, I don't think there's anything we've missed, and if you know if there is, there is. But yeah, I think we covered it. So yeah, let's hit the elevator. Because you, yeah, you go over to it, and now you see where before it could only be pressed down and go up. Now you can see it can go the other direction and go down. But we want to go up, right? So as soon as, as soon as you step on it, Navi appears. Listen. Congratulations. Thanks. Well, one you unlocked where this can go down now. I would recommend you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay? For various reasons. But you cleared, you're the first people that I have that I can think of that you cleared Jazzadrune. Uh, so I can give you a reward. And it looks like she, ex- she sort of, she flutters over and spins quickly around one side of the, the lever and you see a blue alchemy circle appears that's blue and she goes to the other side and spins and a red one appears. Uh, these will heal you and replenish you. Awesome. Will it will it help our Nate, friend here? Get in the get in the circles. What circles? Oh man. Fuck. He he hasn't completed his He's dungeon. part he's in our party. You look he's riding the Zord. Navi, he's riding the Zord. I I wish I made the rules. I can only I'm here to tell you about them. He's riding the Zord, Navi. Obviously, he's in our party. I don't understand. <laughs> well, as as an act of goodness, I'm going to just throw myself, just poison myself, and go ahead and end this, and then I'll start playing him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what great 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 grandpappy Lionel would have wanted. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you step on the the blue circle, it restores any class abilities you have and spells that have been used. Hustle it over to the blue. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, Final Fantasy IV when you step on it and it heals you. So, yeah, Ring. all skills, spells replenished, and the red side heals all of your hit points, afflictions, anything like that. While you're deciding what you want to do with this, I'm going to run back and grab and drag that mask okay. back with us. <laughs> okay. I'm not leaving without that thing. It was a good strength check. To get <laughs> good strength check. All right. Is everybody ready? I'm ready. Yes. Sorry, Nate. I mean, he can come with us, right? Yeah. There are the, you can use the elevator at any time. All right. Okay. Go ahead and pull that lever. Pulling it. You pull it, and you hear a loud... And then the chains on all around it start moving, and you start rising up. And once you kind of you can see the top, you see you're at the the very top steeple of Jazzadrune, and standing on the other side looks like they're looking over out into the vast blackness. Is Junior? He's wearing uh, he almost looks like a baby version of King Hippo because he has a large. <laughs> Royal cape on, hit his a bandage. large, <laughs> a comically large crown, and when he turns around, he has a diaper on, and he's got a baby belly. It's like King Baby from from Mardi Gras. From what? Mardi Gras. <laughs> I am unfamiliar. New Orleans, like 
Or actual Orleans, Mardi Gras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a show? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. And you see he's got a necklace with the key around his neck. <sighs> Were you watching any of that? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah, you want to end up with like a grill? Why don't you just give me the key? I'm way different than that stupid grill. I believe you. I put that grill down there. Okay. Yeah. You didn't Every, hide it very well. I Liz found it like a fucking instant. Or a freaking instant, I well, mean. Good, she's better than you. Well, maybe she is. She's vegan after all. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, here's your key. <laughs> you see, he takes a deep breath, and when he does, he doubles in size and gets enormous, and then two large scepters appear in his hands. God, I fucking hate you guys. Yeah. Roll for initiative. Thank you. 18. 25. 20. Uh, 16. Liz, you react first. You see a giant, comical, angry baby about 30 feet away. I will... I guess I'll run up to him and stab him with the poison Zord dagger. Okay. Make an attack roll. Uh, I have advantage since he hasn't had a turn yet. Good deal. Which is good thing because that was a bad roll. And that one was worse. Oh my god. But you get advantage. But you get advantage, you can roll again. Okay, that one's slightly better. (laughs) Slightly better. Um, 18. Yeah, you get through, and he looks like he is very fast and very big, but you're able to just barely pierce the side of him. Roll for damage. What damage does the the sword dagger do? A D6. Good thing I use my natural 20 on the save against poison. <laughs> uh, one. 1d6 is one. One plus your dexterity. Um, eight. Plus sneak attack. And is it a critical because of the assassin stuff? Or? He has to uh, be surprised. Su- ha- yeah, has to be surprised. surprised. Okay. So, eight, ten, sixteen. Yeah, because you stab him and he just. <laughs> just starts crying. Um, and then I use my bonus action to play the Zord flute and okay. tell the Zord to use his. Make a, make a perform check. Okay. Oh, shit. 18. Yeah, looks like the Dragon Zord just pulls up its missile fingers and fires them off. Yeah, it looks like he dodges a lot of them, but sees some of them hit his face, and he's just... <laughs> I hate you guys, and I hate that you're here, and that hurt, and he just starts slamming those scepters down. You see, he goes into a rage. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. And you see, he just immediately turns and swings at you three times with those scepters. What's your AC? 18. Yeah, it looks like you're, that first one looks like it hit you in the chest, but you're able, you're very fast, so you're able to duck and dodge around the other two. You take 15 points of damage. Ouch. Limb. Um, I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. What's the deck save on that? Um, there is none. Oh. Yeah, you see he's just outlined in hot pink, which infuriates him further. And that's a, that's a, it for me. That's an action. What's the duration on that? Is it concentration up to um, one minute? You see, it looks like, Urban looks like he puffs that cigar in his mouth and puffs it and it starts to glow pink. And you see, he puts one paw, or paw, one flipper on the side of your, on the side of your head. Oh, it feels good. And then you sort of feel that spell get peeled off of you. It looks like he claps his hands together. I got it, boyo. Okay. So he will maintain concentration for you. <laughs> That's awesome. That's nice. great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Kenny. Rage. And I'm going to go, I'm going to charge at him with my sword. All right. Make an attack roll. Uh, that is 16. Yeah, because you come in and swing it hard, and you see he's just in a tantrum and just knocks it out of the way. You have advantage. He has fairy fire. Oh. And th- do you get advantage when you're raging anyway? Uh, on... Hang on, strength checks. Strength, oh, checks, strength checks, and then plus two on... Um, Bonus. Okay, and but I'm he's res- but I'm resistant to all all damage. Well, we all we all get advantage on attacks against him. Yeah, because it's just like it's it's hard to find the way he's just 
flailing around. It's hard to find a, just a gap in where his giant baby with giant maces. Benji. I uh, will take... Now I'm going to use both symbols. Just okay. Send them flying. He's very fired. So, okay. So uh, you get advantage for each attack. Yeah. The green will be my first method. Okay. Yeah, you cut and lay all them at Junior as fast as you can. That did not work. Uh, let's suppose 13 hit. Uh, not necessarily. First one's probably going to hit. The second one was a one. Okay. So but which, that one, was, which one are you going to take? Was, was, <laughs> <laughs> so my assumption is I missed one, and the other one's going to be like a 22. Hit. So Nice. Um, also, Colossus Slayer, because he has taken damage. <laughs> Seven total damage. And he takes half because he's in rage. Ugh. You see some from sitting on the dragon sword. You see, it looks like he pulls up his crossbow and man, save your energy. Fires at him. See, he's, a, he's absolutely natural a twenty. <laughs> I rolled nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved if he just rolled three twenties in a row. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it soars over and it hits him in the neck. All right, good shot, good shot, Liz. So the sword doesn't have any more missiles. Right. Um, can it attack else? It has its drill tail. Okay. It can, okay. It can it can bite or it can do uh its drill tail attack. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it can also throw <laughs> Nate. It can throw Nate at them. <laughs> That Mario RPG weapon where Bowser throws Mario. <laughs> <laughs> well, since the Zord Dagger is now out of poison. Uh, oh, no, right. remember we, we were going to stop and refill it. Oh, well, we didn't. I mean, we, we were going to, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, well, did yeah, it, did it get it was... recharged in the circles? Or no, is that but, just no. Just us. your physical, okay. yeah. Um, That's a good question. I'm glad you asked that. I'm going to switch over and use my stiletto dagger and okay. attack. And I can advantage. Sure do. 26. Yes, hit. And 17 for damage. You can't quite pierce through as much as you feel like you should, but he's definitely still got hurt. <laughs> Turns over. I'll go ahead and attack you once. Is my turn over? Oh, I'm sorry. Because I was going to disengage. Okay, disengage. And then I can still use the flute as my bonus action, then, right? Because or... you're disengaging as your bonus action. Oh, hmm, hmm. No, you know what? I'm going to use the flute until the Zord to attack. Okay. I'll do that. So it's going to come at him with its drill tail. Yeah. So its tail will do 1d10 plus 2 with a plus 8 to attack. So you can roll for it. Okay. With advantage, too, because yep. the same fairy fire bonus. Oh, okay. I rolled a 19 and 11. So 19 Hit. plus whatever. And you said 1d... A D10. D10. Plus three. Uh, seven. <clears throat> the dragon sword looks like it charges up with Nate on its shoulder, and then that tail just swings in at it, and it buries into Junior's side, and you see it start drilling in. So yeah, he comes, and he swings at you, and that first one hits you for 11 points of damage. Okay. Are you still up? I am at six. Okay, he's swinging again. Take nine points of damage. So now you are in death save territory. Okay. So he comes back, he hits you in the head the first time, and you're just kind of reeling, and then he comes back and cracks you in the head again. And this time you just a spurt of blood as you flip around and fall to the ground. So in death saves, every time it's your turn, you have to make a death save, which is a straight D20. Okay. So 1 through 10 is a fail, 11 through 20 is a pass. Okay. So if you fail, you get a check towards your successes. If you fail, I'll check torture fails. Three passes, you stabilize, you're alive. Three fails, you're dead. Okay. If you roll a 20, yeah, it counts as two successes. If you roll a one, it counts as two failures. Okay. So whichever one gets the three first, or if somebody can heal you. No! And then that other one, he turns. You were supposed to be the best of us, vegans. So after you, the next biggest hit on him was Nate. <laughs> on the oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, then Junior just clobbers Nate <laughs> off of the dragon's sword and onto the floor, and he just bounces. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs>
That thing drilled it sh- out of you, man. <laughs> no, it yeah. didn't hurt as bad as that one. It should have, but it didn't. <laughs> That makes no sense, Junior. No, <laughs> Jimmy the Bull could punch harder than guns can that do. That makes damage. sense because he was a very good boxer. <laughs> that's a that's a Zord, <laughs> and that's a goblin with a crossbow. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> but it did more damage. <laughs> Lim, it's. Uh, I hope this doesn't hurt me. Wand of sleep. Good night, Junior. Mm. But I have to roll. 5d8 to determine how many hit points oh. uh, it affects. Okay. And I don't know where he is, is but it's a creature's hit points must be equal to or less than the remaining total. Remaining total. So his current. Okay. For the creature to be affected. 4 plus 7, so 11, plus 8, 19, plus 5, 24, mm, plus... Eight, so 32. Yeah, you sling it that way, and you see moonbeams and stardust come out and hit Junior, and as soon as it does, he just... Get, go to bed! You're, you're, go to bed! You're not my supervisor! Oh, like hell I'm not! <laughs> he just... <laughs> falls over asleep. Nice. Do I make a save or anything? <laughs> <laughs> like, I start looking like, at pat myself for a jacket. No, you're all right. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to go run and check on Nate. He's asleep for... As I'm running over to Nate, he's asleep for one minute! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, is our coup de gras a thing in, in fifth edition? Cause yeah, I assume that they... I don't know for sure. You do your, your Delta-style grill attack. Yeah, He's I mean, no longer in rage, so he's taking full damage because he's asleep. Wait, before... How I'm still like right up by him, and yep. I'm not. Oh, I'm thinking about trying to yank that key off his neck. Yeah, grab the key. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna try to grab the key off of his neck while he sleeps. Okay. Is that a thing? I just take it. Yeah. Okay. Right. I got the key now. Yeah, he's he is asleep until one minute passes, uh, or he takes damage, or someone uses an action to wake him up. Yeah. Well, okay. Did, did, did that wake him up? Well, they, no, they have to like, it's like oh, shaking oh, oh, and slapping. Okay, like right, when the Simpsons it. fall off of their gorge and you gotta wake him up in that <laughs> mini game. It's like that. <laughs> well, um, we should unload on this. Yeah, but give, give me just a second first. We I wanna, one Nav- minute. Navi, you can take pictures, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna start posing him in the most just insane, <laughs> like pose. We, like, we have so, one minute. <laughs> we have no, one, we no. have one minute. We kill him here. He's still alive out there, and I really want to just fuck with him once we get out of here, too. So, One picture. One just, picture. We have time just, for one picture. <laughs> just just an embarrassing picture of him sucking his thumb with his diaper around his fucking ankles. Okay. <laughs> get the mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> and a picture of Luke. <laughs> <laughs> And now, and now I need to make another trip to Kinko. <laughs> <laughs> That's your last one. <laughs> yeah, and your navy just that blue. <laughs> uh, and then we need to. So we have a, a bunch of things to handle. Nate and Liz, um, and and taking care of him. I'm leveling my shotgun at his head. Okay. Um, can I just? How Let's do, do it how, together. How do we heal? Yeah. yeah. How do we heal somebody who's? Uh, you can do a medicine check. Well, I get, yeah. If let's... you if you fail it, they would take a failed attempt. Uh, you could shove uh, food down her throat. Which we can don't... we do that? Yeah. Do you have Cheerios or something? I will on you? cast Goodberry. All right, and then just go. squeeze them into her mouth. Just... There you go. <laughs> Clutch spell. <laughs> you summit. What what fruit is it? I get the berries and they're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you squeeze that the uh, the good berry and the juice into her mouth. So heal for that amount. We can go ahead and uh, kill him while I'm looking this up too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, do we even need to roll to hit him? No, I mean. So we're just rolling for damage at this point. Yeah, just roll. Just roll for damage to see if you do enough to. I'm gonna hit pull him. that whip out of my chest. Junior, I never use this, but I'm going to give you the spanking daddy never did. <laughs> 26 from mine. Hit. Oh, damage. No, no, that's damage. damage. That's okay. two symbols right into his okay. fucking head. Yeah. Uh, 
can. Now, if she gets woke up here, can she, or is it, she's got to have a turn to get oh. back up on her feet? Or yeah, I mean, can, but you deal healed her first. He cast Goodberry first, so then that healed you, and you popped back up, and you see they're all attacking. We're just waiting to see how many hit points you got back. Yeah. So I was like at negative three. So is that right? And then right. That adds up really, there are no negatives. There are once negatives. you just hit, once like you zero. go past once you go past zero, it's all the same. So okay. until you get negative, I think your current hit points, then you would die automatically. So but I, there's no middle ground. I conjure three berries, and they're one hit point a piece. Okay, so you so just really, really you'd, you'd be at two. Okay. Let's say we'll just say okay. awake and in a lot of pain. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> That was a fun fight. Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you still doing damage? <laughs> yeah. Oh. All of you, all of you together, just focus fire on Junior, and you see he wakes up just in time to just go oh, fuck, and he explodes into a shower of coins. Jerk. Everybody gets three hundred and fifty experience points, two hundred and fifty gold pieces. 250 silver pieces, 250 copper pieces. I'm writing that down. What does that put us at for experience? I haven't totaled it yet. Um, wanted to say, how many XP? 350. 350. 350. Yeah. Maybe 1786. Someone need to check my math on that. I have 1786 as well. We're about 914 XP away from le- next level. Search that fat fuck for loot. He is coins. Oh. No. Nate, that is a hard habit to break. I know, this game. Right? Yeah. He his crown is still there, I mean, so you can obtain key item, Junior's crown of Jazzadrun. Sure. Yeah. And then it Mario style, like Mario getting hit, shrinks <laughs> into something in the palm of your hand. All right, we'll hold on to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Nate, is he? He's dead, right? I'm going to check on him. <laughs> okay, I've been trying like a bunch of times. Nate, <laughs> he's he's not coins. Nate, you're not coins. I don't I, come I'll, to Louisville with us. I'll cast Goodberry again. I've got all my spells. So okay, yeah, you can heal some enough hit point damage for him. You see, he's all but his eye has been taken over. So he just has one blue eye. Then there is a. Like in Mario World, there is a key, just a black keyhole, just on where Junior was standing in front of, on that end of the castle. I've got the key. All right. Let's go. I'm going to grab Nate. Grab Nate. <laughs> let's go. So I had planned where it wouldn't take that long for Nate to turn. You guys happened by sheer coincidence, the very last room found him. So... I will give you a 50% chance whether he makes it through the keyhole or not. Okay. So who wants to call it, and we'll do high or low. Who's had the best rolls tonight? Not me. I also feel like it's not me. I've had decent rolls, but I also don't want to be the one. <laughs> <laughs> I've had good rolls, but I don't want to have that responsibility. Uh, you want me to call it? Call it. Call it. You've had the best luck tonight. You call it. High. All right, so above 50. So I'll just do just these. No, I don't want to do the tens ones because it could be 100. 40. Oh, oh, no. Can I spend, can I cash in two red chips for a blue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here. Same. I don't feel like I should change it. High. Let's do high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same. Can we play the yodeling uh, Price is Right game instead? I'll find it. I'll find it. <laughs> 41. Oh, oh, man. Still worth it. That was worth it. I'm sorry. <sighs> I know. So, yeah, as you go and twist that key and it expands like Mario World, you see right, right before it touches Nate, you see his eye just grow red. And he just... No. This is at you. Yeah, he, you, you hit him. Yeah, just the crossbow and just. Yeah, and he looks like he turns into a single copper piece that you can catch. Take it and I'll give it to Lim. Like that's that's an important copper piece. You should have this. Yeah. Thanks. We'll uh, key item Nate's coin. We'll bring it to Irish Lass. Yeah. And then you 
That, the, does the sword come with us? Oh, if you draw the sword in, yeah, the, the dragon sword will come with you. <laughs> I imagine the sword is just kind of like not paying attention, just like <laughs> sniffing around, <laughs> just eating grass, <laughs> right? Yeah, just rolling like a dog. <laughs> we should we should hook him up with a red jacket. <laughs> it's it's Nate can't be our roadie. Can we? Can you command it to like set up our equipment at the show? I mean, I guess so. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I do, I do love that. I do love the idea of the sword setting up for a concert. Unlock the last bronze achievement, Subspacer's Block. Beat Lem's Castle. What, uh, is that gold? It's bronze. Silver? Bronze. 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 Since it was story. So everybody gets uh, a healing item of their favorite food. Oh, all right. See, but once that keyhole expands out and encompasses all of you as it closes. The next thing you see, it looks like a hot spring just standing in front of you. And you see Navi appears. Listen! So what's popular with the kids nowadays? Doc- Dr. Quinn? And the she- medicine woman? Of course. And she, she takes the form of look like a spectral Dr. Quinn medicine woman, only in a, in a tank top and shorts. I don't think that, okay, well, whatever, I'm not going to argue. I feel like Dr. Quinn had bigger, bigger <laughs> breasts. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Damn it. <laughs> they completely disappear. <laughs> it's just like a, a pixel mosaic bar. <laughs> it's like she goes over and sets down and puts her legs in that hot spring. Okay. Wow, you guys have really been through it. Yeah, I'm surprised you're still here, honestly. I kind of thought that. You were just kind of like a, our Jazzadrune friend, you know? Oh, I'm your subspace friend. So you're just, you're here. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I'll just be here in subspace just uh, to help whenever you have to use it or whenever you're here. Hey, by the way, did you happen to see me and Lim playing Mario Kart? I did. I waved the flag. That was you. Yep. Mm -hmm. I wondered about that. So I was waiting for the next time for you to pop in, and then Jazzadrune seemed like a good good Mm -hmm. place. You didn't watch that porn with us, did you? Did you? Did I you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead, have a soak. We'll we'll be back in a second. Right, okay. While we soak, I'm Perfect. gonna I'm gonna fill it up. It heals mind. all your wounds, anything you've sustained or I wonder what music's gonna play here. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know. I'm gonna fill up. Anybody my want jug. some coffee? <laughs> I'd love some coffee. Yeah. Of course everybody, <laughs> whatever kind of coffee drink you'd like. Thank you. The good job filling. Oh, there you go. Just With Navi spring water. <laughs> Never again. So you also unlock the achievement, you're the only ones, Jazzed Rune, 100%. You unlock that, gold achievement. And when you unlock that, a new pixelated item spins down, and it is a beautiful blue bottle. So there's only one, whoever wants to carry it, you obtain... The Water Boys Glacier Water. <laughs> Drinking the Water Boys Glacier Water will treat that character as if they had had a, a long rest. That sounds like That's something. Pretty nice. Hold on. To. Yep. How do you all feel? You kind of went through each other's subconsciouses and came out honestly different on the other side. I mean, I feel like we understand each other a lot better now. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Definitely. I think you understand yourselves better. That's true. Mm-hmm. So maybe you were just people who played instruments before, but now I think you're a band. Now I think you're friends. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure you have a whole lot ahead of you. So I'll be here and I'll help you guys however I can. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. I've seen as you guys kind of talk and you feel like you're floating down and eventually the the spring disappears and all of you are just kind of falling through space and you land on a... (laughs) (laughs) You splatter on the rainbow road, end of game. You land on a silver platform and then there is a a one-star door opens up. Go go through that door. I'll I'll stay back here. Okay. You'll pop back out with Link and Chad's room will be gone and you can finish where you're going okay okay good job thanks awesome 
So all of you step through. All of you immediately appear on the other side except for Liz. When you step through, you're on the still you're on the other side of the door. Still where you were. Mm-hmm. I'll be confused and step back through the door and And you see when you turn back and look at Navi, she has a angry look on her face. What's up? Who are you? Uh Liz. We both know that's not true. I don't know exactly who you are, but I know that's not true. And I'm going to help them. What you have on your arm there, that's someone else's subspace. I don't know what it is. I blocked it. I was able to do that. So everything that happened in Jazzadroon, they can't hear. But it's, I didn't even know how they did it. They pulled actual subspace material out into the real world. And then they put it on you. And whoever that is is able to spy on you through it. Hmm. Well, I think that uh, I might feel a little more loyal to these people than I did before. So I can probably ditch this. Be careful with that, too. I mean, I'm not going to drop it in here. But Yeah, don't drop it in here. I don't <laughs> want to. I honestly worry if it stayed here long enough, it wouldn't corrupt Lim McKinney's subspace. Mm. If you mean that, be careful with it still. You're going to make people angry. Yeah, I figured as much. Okay, you can use the door now. Okay, I'll step through. Yeah, then you guys appear first, and then a second later, Liz steps through. Did, did the Zord come with us? Or did he come with <laughs> oh, the, no, the Zord is there. The Zord stepped through, <laughs> just crammed through the door. I like to think that we didn't notice that Liz was gone because we're fawning over the Zord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you pop out like right in front of Link, who's just like, whoa, dude. Is that the fucking dragon sword? <laughs> it's the dragon sword. Yeah. But wait, there's more. I brought you something. I'm going to give him the glass bowl. Oh, dude. I wasn't sure, dude. but I was kind of pretty sure. Yeah, it's not. It's Yeah, you get me. You get me. That's goblin made. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Right? Can someone else drive my car? I am pretty drunk from drinking <laughs> beers here <laughs> for days. You, you must be pretty beer. drunk because you <laughs> rode with me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dog. <laughs> you rode in the car with me and Liz. <laughs> he picks up his cooler. I know All you're right. drunk, but will you help me get this mask into the van? <laughs> Dude, that is... Where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> the jazz is drunk. Maybe I should have went with you. Nope. <laughs> nope, okay. nope, nope. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story about a purple octopus <laughs> <laughs> and a ragamuffin. As you, yeah, you load up, put the mask in. Uh, the mask comes out whole, and the, the link loads his cooler in, and you guys drive just right down the road, and you see another one-star garage door appear. As you go through it, you are in downtown Louisville. How much time has passed? your watch about 20 minutes totally worth saving. <laughs> oh what's wrong you guys ever take a shortcut before <laughs> <laughs> when you cross back through the dragon zord turns into a large metal replica but it is not an a- activating robot uh, i but, mean still but the dagger cool, will still but... function as a flute <laughs> <laughs> And a dagger. <laughs> and, and a dull dagger. <laughs> so we put a prison shake. It's also a flute. We put the dragon sword up on stage with us and have the frog sit inside it and puff the pipe. And it smokes. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. A prop. What say you, Irvin Frog? <laughs> Sounds good to me, boy. Huh? Thanks for that help with the concentration, by the way. It's a skill I have. We'll work, it. We'll work on it. I think it'll only get better the more time we spend together. All right. Good, 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 good. Our frog, can our frog, can our frog be a member of our band? Yeah, I don't care. Do you play any instruments, <laughs> Urban Frog? I can work. I can work pyrotechnics. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. That's good. I mean, All I right. guarantee at some point I'm working Chad into the show. So. <laughs> perfect. I love it. He just gives messages to people while we play. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got to stop at a pet store because with this tried in of fish control <laughs> just get a big we can, tank we can take this motherfucker aquatic <laughs> we're gonna be in the air in the sea smoke <laughs> on the water <laughs> yeah, fish jumping up. hell yeah I love this damn that's our new opener <laughs> 
We should go to SeaWorld. <laughs> play it, play it, SeaWorld. <laughs> so you guys can get in and link points out where the venue is. It's ten o'clock. That's what we want to do. I need. I've got to get up at five thirty and drive eight hours tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Yikes. so we'll call it there. <laughs> yeah. Got out of jazz. How much acid room? Best I've ever seen anyone do. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Uh, do we want to change our band name? I have two. Maybe as a stinger. Okay. I don't know. Seems to kind of be the running thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. <laughs> but yes, absolutely. Thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Spotify, Google Play, all over the place. Uh, let's see. So we're doing this string of episodes. Uh, oh, I think we're on Amazon now, by oh, the way. Really? So, like, sorry to interrupt, but I got an email that like, we're totally Amazon. Give us your information. I was like, you bet. And then I got an email later saying, you already have it, but okay. <laughs> They're like, okay, you're on Amazon Music now or whatever it is. I don't oh, know okay. what the hell it is. Sweet. <laughs> so, yeah, look for us there. Because <laughs> you can say, hey, Alexa, play Tad You probably can yeah. now. Play Tyler and Dave are bad at math. Don't do that, <laughs> Don't one. Do that. Don't do that one. Let's see. So uh, once we get back to some normal episodes, uh, we'll do some other normal stuff. So like if you have a package you want to send to send us in that to Tadbog Studios, care of Nicole Nance, P.O. Box 3785, Purdue King, Kentucky, 42002. Or you can call us, 270-883-2555. Got that Patreon. So while I pull that up, Ian, would you like to read our executive producers? I would like to do that, Tyler. And this is a list of the wonderful people that donate more than $20, $20 or more a month. Uh, we refer to them as our executive producers. And I will start that list with Usurper Grimm, Cousin David Galino, Temporal Eternal Savior Cubicle Monkey, Plinko Nick Price, Executive Producer Dig Dougie, Cthusius Jeff Miners, Clambro Cody Phillips, Bantha Master, Game Bug Prime, Nathan Eaton, Matt Gentile, aka Gentle G, congratulations on your marriage. Magical Sleeper, aka Big Dick Pie Baker, Chris Vaughn, Princess Banana Hammock, Flavor Trick, Taryn Landon, Pinball Archmage, Chris Edler, I'm sorry you couldn't be on this episode. Platinum member, Brett Miller, Sandwich Pope, Phil Hawkins, Nate from Utah, first time caller. Drinks. Sorry about the death. Sorry about dying there, buddy. We got you. We'll get your stuff to your girl. Uh, Drink Smith, Joey Abigail Webster. Abigail Reed, by the way. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link, Barbecue Baron Andrew Rowland, General Kenobi Masker, and Sick Jake. We're sorry you fell for the marketing. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. So increase from Dig Dougie to pay for the vault. Thank you, Dig Dougie, very much. <laughs> we love the door sounds, the door <laughs> sound that you purchased. That I'm not going to use again out there yeah. at Jazz and Room, well, it, but I'm going to use it a lot. <laughs> it's, like, it's like name a star, right? It's yeah. like it's you're paying for nothing essentially. It's the, but, it's the Dig Dougie Vault door sound. Right, the Dig Dougie. Yeah, we'll name the sound after you. The Dig Dougie Vault door sound. Vault, I love vault it. sound lord Dig Dougie. <laughs> All right, vault it's done. The vault door brought to you by. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, our theme song of these episodes is "Mess" by Anna Monaguchi. How you guys want to close this out? As our favorite ranger. <laughs> like it. I like it. So until next time. I was the Axum Rangers from Mario RPG. The uh, Dash uh, that's very clever. I like that. I've been watching a lot of Mario randomizers. Yeah. yeah. You thinking about getting into it? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. I want to do that Final Fantasy one first. Yeah. yeah. Well, as you guys are pulling up to your venue, Link turns around to all of you. So grill what The Rock is cooking. I'm a little afraid The Rock could sue us. Or kill us. And I don't know what a grill is. I think it'd be great if we fought The Rock in this game, so let's keep it. Okay. <laughs> Fair. How about The Rock is a huge pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Tweet at us, we dare you. This is the name of our band. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what his handle is on Twitter, but at The or, Rock. Or what it was <laughs> in 2000. Right. <laughs> it's 
future talk, Link. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> have you even been in a subspace? <laughs> yeah. What? I have now. <laughs> <laughs> but like an inner subspace. No. Right, mm-hmm. right. Nope. <laughs> nope. Well, we wrote down Go Green Rangers and Awful Falafel Waffle. That's all I got wrote down. Awful Falafel Waffle. I've got... Um, I've got... Uh, we should bring more bombs. <laughs> 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 and Awful Falafel Waffle. Those are the only two I've got. Pals are all pretty badass. I like but what no Link what. said to us when we came out. We said, too drunk to drive my car. <laughs> too drunk to drive <laughs> my car? One. I also like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and seeing as how... Uh, you were the only one to make death saves or <laughs> uh, about to make death saves. I think that your suggestion should take precedent. Yeah. Too drunk to drive my car? Okay, I'm Too honored. Drunk to drive I'm my honored, car. man. is sweet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Put it on the bank. And are you going to be able to hook you up know, what no, we I, talked I, about? I, I, I got it, man. I'm drunk, but I got it. <laughs> oh, I can't It's wait. with numbers, though, right? Two, drunk, two, drive. I mean, it's 2000, so yeah. Yeah, yeah perfect, yeah. perfect, yeah. perfect, and it's, perfect. And it's, it's D-R-Y-V. Oh, I love it. God, it gets better and better. The longer the stinger goes, the better the band name gets. <laughs> Good day. Bye. <laughs>